Hi, I'm John Ryan from IGN, and thanks for listening. After checking out Cyberpunk 2077 at E3, we here at IGN were eager to explore more of this world. So we invited Mike Pondsmith from Artelsorian Games, author of the original tabletop RPG Cyberpunk 2020, to take myself, as well as our own Cassidy Moser and Casey DeFridis, on a pen and paper adventure through this dark future role-playing game. So are you all ready to play some Cyberpunk? Yeah. Great. <laughs> Mike, please start murdering us. Okay. <laughs> Uh, my name is Mike Pondsmith, and I'm the person who's going to kill your cyberpunk character. Nice to meet you, Mike. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> That's because I haven't done it yet. <laughs> okay, so we're going to be doing a couple things that are a little different than a typical cyberpunk game that you would be getting sitting down in my house. One of these is that we're going to be using a different kind of sheet. These are the ones that we use when we do conventions. And conventions, we do a lot of games at, so these are kind of shorthanded. Um, you can have roles, skills, but we give you the skills. We also give you basically a base set of weapons, although during the game you may pick up other stuff in the bodies of your mm -hmm. slain foes. Perfect. And also because this has some integrated things that are going to be showing up in Cyberpunk Red, which is the upcoming edition, you'll notice that we have separated out Dexterity and Reflex because mm. that turned out to be the absolute power god <laughs> killer of original <laughs> cyberpunk. What do you mean I can shoot birds out of the air from 100 yards? Yeah, I'm going to stand on my hands while I do it. <laughs> no. Fine. Okay. So, because of that, you guys have already gotten some basically generated characters. Mm -hmm. with some ideas on that. I'll let you decide what you want to call yourselves. And you have a basic set of rules. However, one of the fun things about oh, no. this game is that it is more than just, yeah, I build a character and I go blow somebody or something up. It also is a game with a lot of psychology, how people do things, how they perceive things. You're in a world which is dissimilar from ours in that many of the governors, the rules that keep people from being really bad people, are gone. Hmm. So that Bummer. means you get to make choices, and you do those choices based on what you have going on inside your own personal both head and also your own personal moral code. And this is where things like Life Path, which is one we invented years ago, um, actually play into it. So what we're gonna do is gonna walk through that a little bit and we're just gonna have everybody do a quick Life Path. Uh, and you're gonna integrate what we talk about into the first descriptions of your characters and then I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about your situation and setting. Okay? Cool. So. Great. The first thing we look at is personality traits. So are you shy and secretive, rebellious, antisocial, and violent, arrogant, proud, and aloof, moody, rash, headstrong, picky, fussy, and nervous, stable and serious, silly and fluff-headed, sneaky and deceptive, intellectual and detached, friendly and outgoing. Okay, so think about how you deal with people. Okay, <laughs> while you're thinking of that also, uh -oh. remember, this is necessarily you. Yes. No, this oh, is, this is our knows character. Really looking to just having crippling social anxiety. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. um, cool. You can have that. You still can if you want it. to have it. <laughs> okay. This next question you'll ask is how do you feel about most people? Are you neutral? You like people? You hate people? Are they tools that you just use and discard them? Are they valuable to you in some way or another? Are they there to be destroyed if they get in your way? Are they untrustworthy? Are they wonderful? Up to you. How do you deal with people? How do you see people? Day-to-day -day basis, you're going down here in the end cart, driving along, you know, and two or three people get on board. Do you go, more of them, whoever they are? <laughs> or do you say, oh, hey, that person looks interesting. Or do you say, I, I think I can rob them. <laughs> I just really want someone to play like a Mr. Rogers in Cyberpunk. <laughs> <laughs> so just why are you pointing everybody. your gun at me? I don't understand. Hi, neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> many, many years ago, I played a character in somebody else's cyberpunk game who was convinced he was one of the characters out of the old Gary Anderson Thunderbird show. He was convinced that he was actually a marionette, so he was cheerful and bright and wooden the entire time. Oh, wow. And he had a pain editor, so he could not feel pain. So typically he could stab a knife into his hand and go, oh, I guess I'll have to get some spackle for that. Oh, God. <laughs> so yeah, there are no limits to how weird you can get. Perfect. Awesome. What do you value most? Money, honor, your word, honesty, knowledge, love, power, having a good time or having a friendship. 
Also, what person do you value the most? Is it a parent, if you have one, a brother or sister, a lover, friends, yourself, a pet, a teacher or mentor, a public figure, a personal hero, or you value no one? And what's your most valued possession? What's the thing that you really, really care about? If the building was burning down, you would make sure that went with you. For example, um, yeah, I'm going to be taking my telecaster guitar when the house burns down. Uh, a piece of jewelry, a toy, a letter. Okay, and then for yourselves, think about what your dress and personal style are. You know, how do you dress in this world? Things are very fragmented. There is no one style. It is many, many styles, which also ties into the last question, which is your origins, your ethnic origins. You come from a multicultural, multinational world. People have drifted up from the shores of Night City from all over the planet. A planet that's been in chaos, that's been in change for at least 40 years. Okay? So we have everything from Anglo-American, African, Japanese, Central European, Chinese, you know, you name it, it can have washed up in Night City. How does that affect you? A lot of people use this as an excuse to, you know, really delve into some things in their character, things that they're carrying, things that they're wearing, what their outfits are like, and so forth. So take that into account and start thinking for a couple minutes what these things mean to you. How do you deal with them? How do they affect your character? Because in the end, we're not doing a shoot off here, we're doing a role playing game. And so let's find out whether we can role play. And I'll shoot you up later. <laughs> Great. Okay. <laughs> so, hmm. you are all going to be in Night City. Night City is the main city where things happen in the cyberpunk world. It is built on um, roughly the ruins of a central California city, coastal. And uh, it was originally a planned city with the idea of it providing a refuge for the economic and social collapse of not just the United States but worldwide, which is why there are so many people in so many places here. And then it went wrong. Now, I have a personal experience with planned cities. Uh, as a kid, I lived in a place called Lafrac City uh, back in New York, where it was big arcology-like buildings, and they were all planned. And I went back 20 years later, and it had kind of gone to hell in a handbasket. Mm. And I always took that as a model for what could happen to Night City. Even the most hmm. utopian place can fall apart if you have the wrong types of environment, disasters, corruption, you name it. That's Night City. It is built on multiple levels. It is both as high as it is wide. It is densely packed. And it is really hard to find housing, just like San Francisco. <laughs> yeah, <same. laughs> or now Seattle, for that matter. Mm. Oh. That's an important thing. Because we're going to be starting this in Night City. Mm -hmm. And you guys are all going to be living in one of the few, not corporate owned, pretty nice, in fact, really nice neighborhood apartment buildings in Night City. We are rich. No kibble for me. We're not rich. <laughs> this is certainly a role playing game. <laughs> yeah. You lucked out. I got my After own you point. got out of med school. <laughs> You found that your parents, before they were run over by Booster Gang, no! had, had left you property. Well, Hell yeah. Thanks, Mom and Dad. So you have an apartment building. A whole thing? Yes. And of course, you can't afford all the taxes or anything else that they throw at you no. or the upkeep. So you need to have people who live in the apartment building. And I have a couple Hello. of the other people of the apartment building that I will be having show up as NPCs to help you out. All Great. right. Let me underscore Good neighbors. This. Good neighbors. <laughs> Let me underscore this. Having an apartment in Night City is an insane rarity. Mm -hmm. Where you are would be like having a really nice view from Twin Peaks. Ooh. Now. Okay. Okay, you own the building. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Never. Um, 
That would Beyond never that, happen. Are, your, your chances of finding something are pretty much nil, and you may be out on the street. So you guys all drifted up. You either knew him, or he put an ad out somewhere, or just some people who were there before died mysteriously, and you guys drifted in. <laughs> but you're now all mm -hmm. apartment mates mm -hmm. in a series of apartments. Uh, it's a two-story apartment. Uh, it has a hell of a view. Um, overlooks the entire area of Night City. Uh, for those of you who were able to go to the uh, the rollout of Cyberpunk 2077, um, there was a panel wall they did, video wall, that showed the panorama of Night City. You have that view. I'll have a look at that for okay. sure. Yeah. <laughs> so you have a hell of a view, and you have... Uh, so far, no one's thought about collecting any taxes because the government's so screwed up, no. and you've you've paid off most of the major fixers, Great. who might be beating you up for protection. Pass. <laughs> and do we have anybody who's a cop in this group? No. no. Okay. No. Nope. Well, I think you have a cop now, and you have a cop named Hammerman. <laughs> nice. Hammerman is a man who has a past. Uh, you know that he was on the Nice City Cyber Psycho Squad for a while. Uh, he's a short, burly, non-communicative guy, always has a brush cut, um, always looks kind of exasperated. He does not suffer fools gladly. And he pretty much drinks very expensive whiskey. Oh, man. And I want to be friends with him. Right? <laughs> I thought he's going to get along quite well. And listens to... Old Frank Sinatra records, very very loud. Oh wow! Um, a while back, somebody who used to live in the building went to him and complained it was too loud, and he threw them out of the building. <laughs> like out of the building. Oh, yeah, out of the building. <laughs> okay. Uh, Just the for guy broke, The guy broke a leg, so he wasn't killed. It's and hanging on the doctor. <laughs> basically, because Hammerman was at that point not still in the force, but had connections. It didn't go very far, and the guy limped away, and somebody paid his bills, and you never heard from him again. <laughs> and at that point, you got to move in. <gasps> so <laughs> you live underneath Hammerman. <laughs> Luckily, I love Sinatra, floor. so we're all good. Okay. Stock up on those earplugs. <laughs> Let's be a lady to oh, no, we can't do that. In the morning. We'll have to pay for that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it is... Early evening in your apartment, the Sunset Arms. Um, it is a real classic. This is an older building. It's kind of that classic uh, 60s going to early 70s Coca Cabana kind of style. You know, with the big flat walls done in, in really, really bad old stucco. Oh, awesome. And the open yeah. stairwells that go up with nothing surrounding them. Uh, dying palm trees, because Aww. trees don't survive really well in this smog and the acid rain. Yeah. And uh, a collection of really interesting bums and strange people and stuff that uh, live on the avenue in front of it. You have, like I said, God's own view out across the city, but you're not alone. And we're gonna start, I think, you again. So you wake up, you know, the, the night is beginning. The sun is starting to go down. You hear the beginning of more gunshots than usual. Hmm. And somewhere in the distance you hear someone scream, no, 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 And then it ends in a scream. It's kind of a typical day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it sounds about everything. And you want to get involved. I shrug and put my earbuds in. <laughs> okay, then. So... Tell me about your apartment, about yourself. So I'm actually going to stick with a similar character to what we played before. Uh, my character's name is Ghost. Uh, she is very moody, rash, and headstrong. Okay. Uh, she also does not care about anybody unless they can help her. The only person in the world that she cares about is her sister. Okay. Who also lives with her in this apartment. Ah. Oh, yes. I love when they do this. Yes. Because so you're going to kill my sister. Cool. <laughs> Everybody. No, I've got better things to do and kill your sister. No, so my, my sister is younger than me, um, but I'm the one that has been taking care of her for years after our parents were mysteriously murdered and the whole thing. And uh, I have a ring that she gave me for my birthday one year that is my most prized possession. 
and our family hails from like Iceland, like kind of the great north. So we are used to being very cold. Not as cold as it used to be because now um, there's been a lot of flooding and sure. exciting things. Uh, remember that about 30 years ago, somebody hit uh, the Atlantic with a really large orbital rock, which <laughs> caused a few problems. Right. Sure. <laughs> and luckily, Iceland avoided all the plagues. Mm -hmm. But um, let's say no one's seal hunting there anymore. Sure, sure. Or doing much else. Sure. Uh, yeah, like basically it goes... However, you're the geothermal capital of the universe, and right now, <laughs> it's actually really valuable. Awesome. Yeah, so basically my character's main goal is just taking care of herself and her sister. She doesn't okay. care about anybody else. Okay, your sister is going to be an NPC that I'm going to dub Goldfish. Cool. Uh, but I'm going to borrow that pen from you. Go for it. Okay, so Goldfish is your sis. Okay. And she's a lovely kid. I agree. How old is she? Like 17. 17, okay. Uh, we'll get to that later. You're going to kill me. <laughs> In real life. No. <laughs> okay. So, meanwhile, yep. you wake up and um, you hear the same sort of gunshots. You hear another thing that is slightly more disturbing, which is... You hear a chant. Oh, God. It's in the alleyway behind your building, back where they keep the trash cans and there's a couple wrecked cars. Familiar? Bars. Yes. Crap. <laughs> um, it sort of begins like this sit right back and you hear a tale, a tale of a fateful trip. Oh, no. Not the Gilligan's back? <laughs> yes. There is a gang. They're, they're what are called poser gangs in Night City. People who have taken identities, kind of like cosplay taken to the worst extreme. Oh, no. uh, the absolute worst of these are the bozos, which when they were invented by my wife many, many years ago, uh, the insane clown posse did not exist. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, one of those things people say, you know, how much stuff in cyberpunk ever, like, really happens? I go, joke works. Yeah. yeah. That's a thing. How accurate <laughs> did we really get in the last yeah, 20 years? Really close. Uh, so yeah, my, my wife made the juggalos. That's God. Okay. <laughs> so at any rate, yeah, she should get a Gilligans, lifetime supply of Fago for the. <laughs> <laughs> the Gilligans are out back, and they they appear to be having one of their ritual chants, mm. which begins with the reciting of the Gilligans Island theme in a very spooky kind of way. <laughs> Usually, what happens is they get themselves worked up and they start repeating after a while, a three-hour tour, a three-hour tour, a three-hour tour. <laughs> A three-hour tour, three-hour tour, three-hour tour, three-hour tour, three-hour, three and then it goes, oh, no. ah, skipper, and they go charging out looking for somebody to kill. <laughs> okay, so it does end badly almost every time. Wonderful. It always ends badly. I really like this Chants Ready Player One LARP. This is really good. Right, this yeah. is really good. All right. Oh, no. So, yes, the Gilligans are, are massing behind your building again. <laughs> what, have I tried calling the cops on them before? Uh, like, have I, have I bothered? Not bothering you Hammerman. Tried. Like. You didn't get much because they don't want to mess with the Gilligans. And Hammerman went out eventually with a rocket launcher or something equivalent. Okay. And you stopped him before he blew up part of the building. And the Gilligans, by that time, got forward and left. Okay. So it's really kind <laughs> so of either 50 It's 50. On that side. It, yeah, you could blow up your neighborhood and stop them, or you could, you know, decide that, well, they can't be that bad. But they could be, though. <laughs> right. Um, I'll, I'll have a look out the window. Like, okay. do they look like they're in an extra frenzied mood this evening? They're frenzied. They're frenzied. Pretty frenzied. And um, in addition, uh, as they start spilling out in the street, you see coming down, because you're on a, a hill. Okay. You see coming down the hill, a lot of motorcycles. God. Cyber bikes, regular bikes, you name it. Um, they are slowly moving down the street and the Gilligans pour out from the side alleyways around your apartment just as a maelstrom, which is a, another booster gang, oh God. rolls okay. down the street. Um, <sighs> they don't like each other. No, I think for and giggles, I'm just going to call the police to begin with. Okay, so. Um, they'll probably not show up, so I'll probably have to go get some help of my own, but okay. we'll see. <laughs> Okay, so you're calling the cops. Yes, I'll happily okay. call in CPD. Okay, tell me about yourself, by the way. Just oh, yeah, sorry. Um, what the landlord is like. Yeah, uh, my name is 
uh, Chet. Chet. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's he, he, Chet. it was it was his mother's dark future. Name. And your name is Chet. I know. <laughs> his, his handle is mother-in-law. Okay. Um, that so we'll go with that. Which okay. I like. Uh, and he keeps it because it's after the toughest creature he's ever seen on this earth. <laughs> yes, and you wish she was here right now. <laughs> yeah, I really do wish she was, uh, because she would know how to take care of all of this. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to be that way. Come on uh, in, boys. I'm, I've made a pie. <laughs> <laughs> she all right, she made pie. pie. It'd be perfect. <laughs> um, so yeah, so mother-in-law, um, he went, did the med school thing. Unfortunately, mom and dad then got crushed off by boosters, which mm-hmm. was super unfortunate. But he got a house out, of, or he got a building out of it. I own the building, right? Yes, cool. go in the building, free and clear. Um, oh, man. I mean, well, free, but... Um, so, yeah, I mean, over the course of the years since uh, inheriting this building and getting out of law school, joining the trauma team, and then eventually getting uh, bailing, bailing off of that because it was just really, really awful, um, he's sort of just kind of become haggard and really just focuses on just keeping his head above water, above anything else, um, to which the ends of which he needs to take care of his tenants. Uh, he needs to take care of the building because it's the only way that he's going to stop all the mm-hmm. fixers and all the gangs in the neighborhood from realistically just busting up himself out. and everything that he has. Um, he also still has to figure out uh, a way to keep up with his partner. Um, I can't say, I used to be wife, but at that point uh, she's, they were down with cyber psychosis because they just essentially modded themselves into an almost non-human entity. Uh, was that your wife we saw in the opening trailer? <laughs> no, Lord. Kathy, no. for God's sake, put on some clothes. No. <laughs> Close up the rippers. She more so looked like the dude in the back of the cab from the trailer. Okay. Um, just yeah. like almost like a completely sheen android, big uh, block eyes. Um, has a lot of difficulty communicating anything. Uh, does not really have the capacity to interact with people, so that's been really wow. heartbreaking. Uh, but before one of the things that he tried to sort of bring her back from that edge uh, was getting her a cat, which he is now stuck with, uh, which is his most valued possession. Okay. A cat. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, like, it's, a, it's a good little cat. What is the cat's name? Cheddar. Oh, I love Cheddar. <laughs> it's, it's a good, he, Cheddar's a good boy. Oh. Um, but yeah, so at this point, uh, he's become accustomed to sort of dealing with some of the gangs um, when he can't deal with them, you know, he calls them amicably. Cops. He'll call the cops. The good news is he kept a bunch of the gear from uh, his time in the trauma team, so uh-huh. he's managed to fix up anybody who gets particularly screwed up. up. Yeah. Well, you've got you've got a nice little side business now. People have figured out that you can oh, yeah. patch them up, yeah. which is one reason why the gangs haven't actually attacked your place. Because I'm still useful to them you're, you're as a, as an off the off the table doctor. Yeah. 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 Definitely. Most doctors don't want to see them at this point. No, but you know what? If it keeps the peace in my building and keeps all the paint on the walls, mm-hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll take them. Yeah, keeps the walls up. Right. <laughs> okay, so we move to you. My name is Bologna, and in a terrible turn of events, oh. I did not uh, honor my namesake, which deeply disappointed my parents, because Bologna is, a, I think, a god of war that incites um, revolution. Fine. And instead, I decided to become a member of the media. Uh, <laughs> you're fighting for truth. Except, really all I want is my own fame and fortune. Mm. Uh. So, I pretend to deeply care about the masses, but really I just want them to like me so I can get ahead in the world. So you're an evil blogger. But no one knows. <laughs> because you're on the influencer. outside, I am an influencer, but on the outside I'm very friendly and love everyone, and on the inside I'm screaming, <laughs> You to everyone. Oh, no. <laughs> Let's see your skill set. In that. This would be interesting. Uh oh. Yeah, credibility of five, huh? That's. Yeah, you're uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. But you get a few hundred thousand followers. I'm yeah, trying, you guys. People, you're, you're not, you know, uh, Thompson and the other I'm not there posters. yet, but I'm trying. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I can do. I've got yes, purple hair. Oh You've got a Patreon and you're keeping and, your head above uh, water. Exactly. You have a nemesis. Ooh. Oh no. Yes, you have a troll that basically shows up and he, she, or it um, doesn't ever manifest itself as a person but messes up your feed, uh, puts garbage across on your channels, gets you dropped on false strikes, you oh, name no. it. Uh, right now, you are sitting in your apartment. What's mm-hmm. your apartment like? Uh, my apartment is pretty plain. Okay. except for a few very expensive statues that I 
bargained from a few artists who wanted my favor. Ah, uh, so you do have a fake Oscar then? I do. I absolutely <laughs> have a fake yeah. Oscar. It's real to me. I tell everyone who comes yeah. to my apartment that this is definitely real, it's but Oscar. it's totally not. Okay. Well, at this moment, you are hunched over your deck, mm -hmm. and um, basically all your channels have a dog on them that's going, and I'm desperately arf, arf, trying to get arf, that arf, off arf, because I hate the barking of dogs. And you know, and you know who it is. It's your favorite person. Oh, my nemesis. <laughs> Your personal troll. And Definitely. you've been trying for months now. Every net runner you've talked to, every hacker, every fixer, mm -hmm. to figure out who the heck is this and why do they hate me yeah. so much. As far as anyone knows, I've never done anything to make anyone hate me so much except exist. <laughs> ah, well, yeah, that sometimes is enough. <laughs> it okay. is. Unless they sniff yes. out that you're fake. Unless they have. Oh yeah. man, they know your deep dark oh, secrets. I'm gonna start getting paranoid. Even your sister's <laughs> in the house. Ah, oh, she's not. Ah, okay, she is in the house. So she's peering out the window and she sees the biker gang going by. And she sees the Gilligans pouring out into the street and people are beginning to pull out clubs and rocks and it's kind of a usual melee, what sure. are you doing on our turf kind of thing. Sure. Okay. And she says very quietly, so you can just barely hear, oh, I hope he doesn't get hurt. And she covers her face. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to tell her, why don't you go hang out in your room and keep the windows closed and maybe keep the lights on. I have to know. <laughs> you <laughs> don't understand. I will, she storms I will, out of the room. Uh, goldfish. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm gonna, don't call me that. Dad <laughs> called me that. Storms out. Uh, where does she go? Uh, she runs out of the apartment and slams the door. Oh, I'm going after her. Okay. I'm not letting her go out inside of the building. Okay. So she's running out and you, you get down to the bottom of the stairwell. You're a slam on the first floor. Damn it. Don't footsteps. go outside. And just about that time, the front door, glass lobby doors open. And she's standing there like that as... The two warring gangs open up on each other. It's God. luckily no one right now is using guns. They're they're throwing weapons. They're beating on each other. Yeah. It's a regular, just Donnie Brook out there. Sure. It's a good old fashioned street fight. Yeah, it's a good old fashioned street fight. Wait. You kind of think they do this for exercise. <laughs> It's okay. just Friday. What else are we going to do? Yeah, it's Friday. You know our booster game. We, oh, we have a God. Have to keep up. You need to keep paying rent. Come back inside. Okay. Uh, she's standing there looking horrified and her eyes are shooting back and forth through the combatants. You have no idea which one of the combatants she's actually focusing on. Okay. Uh, you have a vague feeling. Uh, take an awareness check. Cool. So six plus four is ten plus five is fifteen. Okay. Yeah. Uh, she's, you think she's gotten something going with somebody in one of those groups. Of course she does. Yeah, because <laughs> I'm young and I'm rebellious. Of course. <laughs> ah. Um, okay. So, yeah, Goldfish is like, you know, at this point freaking out. Mm. The, the melee is going on and you hear clanking from the apartment next to yours because you're on the top floor. And is you that see Hammerman's? Hammerman oh, coming no. down going, God damn, kids, get off my lawn! Oh, man, no, it's... Okay, like, is, is he armed? Does he have anything, of like, Of course big, he's armed. Uh, long, but, like, <laughs> yes, extra he has, like, one Does he have a launcher, that, or...? He has a weapon, which you, you have colloquially for called a street cleaner. Oh, no. Uh, that does not sound good for the walls. Yeah, actually, it's... Uh, I'm a very I'm a very particular landlord. I like my place to be very thick. It is basically tiny. what you norm normally would see would be a rapid-fire Sturmweyer stakeout tan. So Okey it, dokey. It's throwing 46, but it's throwing it around 57 rounds. God, okay. I just like... At a time. So it's like... And he's lugging it down. The only thing that seems to be slowing him up is... Well, you know, he's he's a bit older, you know, an older gentleman, so lugging the enormous ammo can with him is slowing him up a bit, and the fact <laughs> that he has a strap around this enormous mini chain gun. Is he passing me in the hall? Uh, let's see. Even he's further up the hall, odd is not. And he's further up the hall, so he has to pass you. Okay. So I'll... he's lugging the ammo can, he's going, 
Man can't listen to anything or any stuff. I mean, God damn. I just tell him to watch where he's pointing it. Okay. Because like I know I know this ain't gonna go well. But and he like, gets please try him. not to wreck up the place. Uh, what, was, what was your character's name again? Uh, mother-in-law. Uh, your real name. <laughs> oh, Chet. <laughs> he walks by and he says, "Eat the Chet." Oh, no, come on, man. And then he walks past you. Again. <laughs> Do I hear like, all this like commotion? Nothing, nothing happened. He's oh, yeah. not no, lugging a mini not. chain gun with him. He's evening chat. Do I hear this commotion going on? <laughs> yes. I'm There's going now a to... street brawl outside your apartment all right. building. I'm going to hear this and decide that it's not worth trying to fix my feed. So I'm going to say, screw it. Put my smile on, pick up my camera gear and go outside because maybe I can use this footage for later. Okay, so you're out there reporting on... So I'm, uh, I come outside and I'm going to follow behind... Uh, Mr. Hammerman. Mr. Okay. Hammerman, hello. How are you doing today? <laughs> you mind if I catch your good deeds? He looks at you like you were something that he wanted to scrape off his boot. And he says, Why don't you crawl back underneath your rock, Newsy? Good day to you, too, sir. <laughs> God dang kids. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you all going outside? Maybe on the upside, this will mean I can get new tenants and raise the rent. Yes. <laughs> oh no! Rent, You're one of those. Guys. No, I beleaguerly like head back inside to my closet and grab my like okay. tech med tech gear because I'm probably gonna need it at this point if everyone's yeah. standing on the front okay, porch. Okay, so they're they're battling. Hammerman lugs out this gun and he starts setting up the feed belt. It's very very determined looking. Uh, let's see. Anybody standing next to him? Did you follow him? Or? I'm, I'm following behind him. Okay. But not too so closely. Make it yeah. worse. <laughs> uh, Eleven. Eleven. Okay. Yeah, those look like really big bullets. Okay. So, That's fine. Oh, oh I'm gonna. No, 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 no. I'm gonna no, put no, earplugs no. in. Okay. <laughs> I'd like I'd like to try and holler at the rest of the gang to see if I can at least convince them to disperse before the street gets turned into Swiss cheese. And about that point, he, he pulls up the chain gun, oh, no. he stomps down on a uh, sender, a, a, a button basically on the floor yeah. that he's also thrown out, and music starts blasting Where's out it? from <laughs> the top of his apartment. Damn, they're shattering the window shake. <laughs> and it's, it's Frank Sinatra singing, I've got the world on a string. Awesome. And awesome. he opens up into the street. Oh, There's buddy. utter chaos going, and meanwhile your sister screams, "No, Mr. Hammerman!" Yeah, and I, she goes to run to throw herself on top. Yeah, <gasps> I'm gonna try and intercept her, and at least try to like hook around her body okay. and like. Yeah, it's not so, gonna go for her. Let's see. That's I going swing to my be, camera to catch this, this is dramatic be a moment. Next moment, and she's wonderful. Going to die. I'm get the camera out of my face. <laughs> so let's see. Okay, beat seventeen. You're going to be okay. doing essentially. Uh, treat this as though you are doing a hand-to-hand -hand move. So plus nine. Uh, nine plus nine is 18. 18. So you just barely grab your sister <laughs> and she's screaming, No, Mr. Hammerman, you're killing them all! <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm, I think that's yeah. the point. And he's like, you know, I've got the world. <laughs> Having a wonderful time. And finally he runs out of ammo and says, Damn, it felt good. <laughs> Throws it back over his shoulder and starts lugging the empty ammo crate back up the stairs. God, and as he gets past him, he says, down to the street. He passes him, he says, nice night, isn't it, Chet? I mean, yeah. He walks up. <laughs> you hit him real good. I yeah. guess you missed, you missed the house, so that's fine. You hear, you hear screaming, but you notice that there's a distinct lack of enormous amounts of blood. Yeah. Um, you have tech. Yeah. Make a tech check. All right. And anything else and on top of that? What do you got? Uh, first aid, cyber tech repair. Yeah, um, I'm going to give it to you for cyber tech repair. Cool. Minus two. So that's five right. goes down to three. So that is going to be uh, so that's 18. 18. Yes. You realize that he just opened up an entire uh, ammo camber, or canister full of rubber bullets. So oh, thank there's God. Like people all bruised and battered <laughs> and messed up. And he's, he's learning. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah, Hammer goes back into the apartment, and the music dies down a bit, and you hear the clink of glasses I... and ice, and he leans out and says, Want a drink? Yeah, yeah. I mean, if I don't have to clean up out here, yes, 100%. Okay, you go in, and his apartment is a masterpiece of kind of older, let's say, 21st 
2017, which means it's kind of a little Blade Runner-y in some ways. You okay. know, big fans, overstuffed furniture, but in a really muted, almost Danish modern way. Gotcha. Uh, he has the biggest stereo console you could ever see, and it's a real stereo. It actually has, like, records. Oh, man. That, you, and you I instantly at, start you, wanting to fiddle You've been in here occasionally, but yeah. never, like, in for a drink. And he says, sit down. Oh. He's got these two whiskey glasses pouring. We figure it's got to be like black label, of, you know, yeah. expensive. And he hands one over to you. Ice. Clink. Clink. Says, sometimes man needs to get that sort of thing out. <laughs> I mean, I suppose he does, but. How much did you know about your dad? Well, I mean, you know, he taught me to do the best I could, and he wasn't around a whole lot, but he got me up until I was a kid, but then they went off when I was, you know, not more than 18, 20. I had just gone off to school, so well, we didn't get to really get to know each other a whole lot. I knew your dad. Yeah? Yeah. Dad ever tell you about his time on the force? No. I mean, I'd heard he was like, you <laughs> I didn't know. think so. <laughs> Meanwhile, you dragged your sister off. I did, yes. Okay, and she's going, but he could be dead. I'm like, Goldfish, you have got to understand that these street punks are not worth your time. Nobody is worth your time. The only person in the world that's going to keep you safe is me. She looks at you and she says, he was going to keep me safe. And she goes running off to the melee of, of bodies staggering around with big pockmarks damage. And concussive damage is still, rubber bullets can mess you it's up. It's true. Yeah. These guys are not in, like, great shape. No, they'll break bones. Um, the, the, the guys in Maelstrom are, like, getting back on their bikes. The Gillings have dispersed. And uh, I'm sitting there like, please be a guy on a bike. Please be a guy on a bike. Not one of the white hats. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, she runs up and she says, thank God you're all right. And you see this patrician looking guy in a yachting cap. No. And he says, of course, my dear, for you. I'm like, all right, cool. Just please come up soon. He's a gill again. Oh, of course he is. <laughs> Meanwhile, you, make him wear his check. How much you notice about this? Sixteen. Sixteen. Oh, mm -hmm. very nice. Uh, you see two men. Mm -hmm. They are really well dressed for this neighborhood, mm -hmm. and they are quickly taking pictures of the building from a lot of different angles. I'm gonna discreetly move my camera to them. Zoom in a little bit while still kind of looking at the rabble, so okay. maybe they don't notice me. So you're going to be and trying try to stealth your way around here? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Let's see if you can pull this. I'm going to take cool. Okay. What do you got for cool there? Got any other skills that go with your cool? Um, I have charm. I don't know if, if charm. You, if you yeah. look straight across, it's Yeah, good. I have yeah. charm. Yeah. Okay. So, total? Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. Uh, in the middle of the melee, they don't appear to notice you till you cross the street. Mm -hmm. uh, are you going to be trying to hide your camera or anything like that? So, uh, explain the situation to me again. They are trying. To, they are taking they pictures of my apartment building. Of your apartment building. They're essentially. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah. Doing so that. I'm trying to. I'm staying where I am and pointing my camera at them and zooming in. And trying okay. to use my camera's equipment to listen to what they're saying, possibly. Okay. With my camera's uh, okay. cyber 13, audio. Right? Yes. Okay. Uh, they are speaking in Japanese. Totally uh, don't know that language. No, don't know that language. <laughs> they're speaking in Japanese. And um, the only word you pick up is telecommunications. Hmm. Make an awareness check. Okay. Flat out inch and awareness. Um, Eleven. Oh, okay. Oh, it's silly, so sad. Yeah. 
Okay. Oh, so wow. you're going to be there filming? Yes. Okay, then. Meanwhile, uh, your sister gives her Gilligan, or rather her Mr. Howell, uh, a big hug. Uh, oh, he's... Oh. Oh, no. And then <laughs> basically a big kiss, and then runs back to the apartment saying, Yes! Yes! Yep, yep. And, and just he like says something in, in bad French. It's like au revoir. Uh, <laughs> and my <laughs> sister loves a booster game. Like, uh, or even okay. worse, a poser game. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and <laughs> a like Killigan's a, and a Thurston one, Howler, too. too. Like not even the oh, professor yeah. or the uh, skipper. Uh, I was kind of hoping for a ginger myself. <laughs> I yeah, mean, but, I'd know. take that, too. Right? It'd be still better than Mr. Howler. Even Lovey <laughs> would be preferred. <laughs> I'm going to be his lobby one day. Okay, goldfish, sounds good. And uh, meanwhile, you are filming these guys, and you feel something against the back of your neck. Oh, no. I immediately reach behind my neck. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, you reach behind your neck, and yes, you do feel uh, something that probably is steel and has the gel confirmations of a small handgun. Uh, hello, good sir or madam. I'm sorry I cannot see you. How can I help you? <laughs> um, walking around, you see this guy. Um, he's kind of in that mold of Japanese pop star, bishonen, pretty gorgeous type, mm -hmm. but his eyes are cold. And I mean cold in the sense that there are no pupils. They're just white orbs. Great. And oh, he no. very calmly lowers the flechette pistol and says, I'm glad I got your attention. And uh, I slowly turn around to look at him. And he says, I would consider it a great favor if you would relinquish your camera. Of course, sir. My apologies. And I move the focus back on the gang. Okay. He says, perhaps you don't understand. I believe it would be best if you give me your camera. I will, of course, pay you for it. Okay. I... I'm going to ask for about 30% more than what it's actually worth. Okay. He doesn't know that, obviously. Um, I don't know how much camera's worth. He <laughs> basically looks at it, takes the camera, mm -hmm. he hands you a cred chip mm -hmm. that's worth 20 times more than you okay. asked. I'm A-OK -okay with this. Okay. <laughs> and he says, thank you very much. I'm glad we could work this transaction out. Uh, this was a, it was a wonderful meeting you, sir. Thank you for stopping by. My name is Bologna, and if you have any media needs, I am your girl. And <laughs> like, I give him and subscribe. a chip <laughs> with, all of, with my contact information. <laughs> uh, he smiles, and uh, he says, thank you, Miss Bologna. We will be in touch. That's and he good. hands you a card. Um, it has only one symbol on it. It is a three-part symbol. Uh, I will sketch it for you. Three circles joined together in a circle. Do I recognize this at all? Arasaka Security. Okay. Number one security firm on the planet. Um, Known for dealing in corporate armies, known for dealing in destabilization of nations, known for protecting corporations at all costs. Basically, if you want it done, quietly, tastefully, mm -hmm. and expensively, Arasaka will do it for you. Okay. He doesn't, there's no name on it, he mm -hmm. just hands you the card. Says, okay. Be in touch. And uh, you now have... Oh, let's see. You got about six thousand EB out of that. So you go, you know, buy one of the rooms in your apartment. Just one room, though. You can't have the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> I am uh, very excited, and I connect 
I'm assuming I can do this. I connect to the net and order a new camera off of the equivalent of mm -hmm. Amazon in this okay. uh, this right. world. Okay. I Amazon right. Prime now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. While you're doing that, um, you are having a drink. I'm still having a drink upstairs. Um, and he says, enjoying the drink. Yeah. Um, still kind of confused about that whole part about dad and cops and uh, you. That's a weird one, still. Everybody's um, got to have friends, kid. Yeah. I know that. You don't really strike me as the friendly type sometimes, though. I didn't just sit down here to reminisce about old times. I would okay. be sadly remiss if I did not perform a certain duty for your father. Since we, I owe him that. We had, we had that talk when I was a kid. It's, <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> he smiles and says, you may have had the talk, but I'm not sure you're using it enough. <laughs> no. Ooh, no. No. I'll give it up for that with Hammerman. Sick burn. <laughs> Listen, kid. I didn't pull you up here just to chat and have a beer. Oh. Maybe next time? <laughs> he looks at you again and says, I figure you got about 48 hours before all hell, fire, and damnation drops in on this place. And I thought maybe you might want to prepare. Oh God! Is this what now? Says, what do you know about telecommunications? Um, I mean, it's tele, it's communications, uh, it's. Uh, oh, can I make a tech roll and see just like where my knowledge lies? Yeah. So, <laughs> I went to med school, not video school. Yeah, apparently um, you rolled a two. Is going to be? I know, right? Is that going to be just straight up and down uh, tech? Yeah. And, D10 or yeah, tech and D10. You don't have any cyber tech. Oh, well, that's an right. even 10 then. Okay, you have no idea. Uh, yeah, no, it's the, that's a word that you just said and it came out of your mouth. A, a thing, yeah. Yeah, it's your lips were flapping, but I yeah. didn't get it. Okay. It's a thingy with the stuff. He says, kid, telecommunications, satellites, dishes, information transfer, information nodes. You're sitting on top of a key information node. Wait, under the building? He looks at you and says, <laughs> Kid. <laughs> can't believe your dad had a kid. Can't believe he had me. <laughs> Look. You got about, I figure, 24 to 40 hours before WNS comes through, flattens your house, my house, and puts up a telecommunications node net. Well, why do they need to flatten it? Can't we just dig it up and sell it to them? No. Oh. They want to put it in here. Oh, it's 170 feet tall. Jesus. <laughs> you got to put that in the garage, kid? We could give them some backyard space. <laughs> Jesus. I mean, so what do you know Lower about them? Where are they coming from? How do you know they're coming here in the first place? Because How do you know they all this? filed to have the police department come and evict you. May I have my and own I building? stopped them. Much obliged. Because you have your own building. So then they went back to check your tax records. Oh boy. Now, like, I mean, I've sort of been saving and those for. <laughs> it. No. Well, your father and mother should have been getting them. Yeah. But someone's been paying. Oh, I thought that it was just because they forgot because they run shit bad over there. No. No, they didn't. Oh, that's a shame. And since I like having my house yeah. just the way I have it, I've been paying your goddamn taxes. Oh, shit. <laughs> I don't plan just, to move. You could have just told me. Oh, and then you were going to pay the taxes. Well, I mean, I do With it. With what? Your good looks that you don't have? No, I don't have those. I did not inherit Tom's eyes. <sighs> Look, like I said, they're going to come in soft, and they're probably going to try to buy you out. Unless they decided it was too much work. And then they're just going to move you. And they're going to look at how much work is it to move you. Probably less. What are we looking at? Well, hell, boy, I don't know. That's why I'm talking to you. 
I'd say get some people together and let's find out what we're up against. I feel like I would go to probably your house first. Is this going to be like a Save the Rec Center kind of storyline? 100%. Awesome. Okay, Save great. Save the Rec Center. Yeah. <laughs> All Those right. Those are teens. We're going to finish it off in a ski race. Okay, so you're coming to me? Yeah, I'll come and knock on your door first. All right. I, my sister is eating, and I just finished making dinner, and she's watching something on the, mm -hmm. uh, the what, television column net? I forget she's what the watching. Is. She's television. Okay. And she's watching Gilligan's Island. Uh, of course she is. Uh, okay. She's mouthing all the lines that Mrs. Hollis says. I you just, can see her quietly trying to do the uh, little voice. No, no, no. All right. I just roll my eyes and I come. I look through the the yeah, viewport. Just buzz, 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 yeah, buzz. I look through the viewport and I'm like, oh, it's him. Okay. So I open the door and I'm like, yeah. Hi. Hi. Um, the, we're gonna just sort of have just a building communal meeting conversation happen if you're free for it right now that'd be great why <sighs> we're in apparently some trouble and it's gonna are you in the apartment building where are you right now it's gonna take some doing to fix okay it ain't my oh, fault I was, Don't um, look. after ordering my thing on the head i would have headed inside and uh looked for my landlord to tell him i saw some shady okay, people so around we'll assume then that you guys are together yeah, in so your you apartment like walk up the hall as we're starting to talk about yeah, it. yeah. Okay. and i see you Oh, hey, cool. Mr. Um, Chet, just who I wanted oh, to God, talk to. No, it's mother-in-law, please. I really hate that name. But you'd rather no. have mother-in-law? She was really cool and tough. Whatever you say, Mill. There it is. I just turn into the door. I'm like, I'm surrounded by idiots. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, apparently, um, the WNS is going to show up any day now, I guess, according to good old Mr. Hammerman upstairs. And while he might be a bit of a... Whoa, whoa, whoa. The old... Frank Sinatra man. Yeah, yeah you, the guy with the chain gun that just wasted all those fools out. The hell would he know? Well, I did see some characters. They said something about telecommunications, and then they uh, took my camera away. Uh, yeah, so, as well they should. You film everything. Sometimes the people need to know what's happening, including shady, attractive men in suits. People want to see that. Fucking bloggers. I mean, yeah, sometimes we do. Sometimes you want to see uh, little, young, attractive teenagers dating. Um, the glass nope, just... No, nope, no one wants to see no that. Wants to see that. Dating the shattered. gang members? Nope. Nope. Glass You'd in my be apartment surprised glass in the apartment just how shattered. messed up those people what? are. What? Shut, shut up. Shut. Clash. Tink, 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 tink. Goldfish, get to your room. Uh-oh. Goldfish says, what was that? I didn't drop Get anything. to your room. Uh, you say roundish... Uh, Beer can like object rolled into the center of the room. Everyone get down! Um, okay, get down. so here's where we take a look at everybody's house. reflexes. <laughs> High reflex gets to act first. Okay. Even goldfish gets to go. Oh, cool. Good. Oh, goldfish. goldfish. Uh, reflex. Goldfish is totally useless. <laughs> no, no. Oh, I mean, no. She's there, so. she's there for you to like trip over. It's an escort mission. Yeah, <laughs> just about. Uh, I got an 11. Okay. Seven? 11, seven. 12. 12. Okay, 12. What are you doing? Uh, oh, Mr. Hammerman. Oh, okay. Actually, no, Hammer's not in the room. That's right. No, he's he's down the hall. Okay, Hammerman is not in the picture, so you first. What are you doing? I can holler as a free action, right? Yes. <laughs> Hammerman! <laughs> um, and then immediately start trying to uh, pull people out of the room and into the hall. Okay. Um, you're still inside, and then is Goldfish in the middle of the room? Right? Goldfish is in the middle of the room going, What is it? Oh, God. And you're right. running for her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to run toward her and try to just, like, push her out the door. Okay, so you're, I mean, okay. That's what you're doing? Okay, five, four, three. Okay. Was there something you wanted to do? I, uh, I dive behind the wall for cover. What wall? The, there's, we're standing in the hallway, and it landed in the room. So I go behind the okay, wall. Okay, so you're going to go back to the opposite side of the door. Yeah, I back out into the hall. Back I thought the we were, oh, I, I assumed okay. we were standing we're all in the hallway. Like inside mm -hmm. the doorway. Oh, yes. okay, yeah. I'd okay. go outside of the you're hallway. Clumped. Okay. Like idiots. Yeah, she's, you're clumped like it is in the doorway having a discussion. Mm -hmm. Your sister's in the middle of the room because she was watching TV. Mm -hmm. And she turned her the glass shatter, looked up, saw the grenade mm -hmm. because that's what it is. Right. Rolled in the middle of the room. Mm -hmm. Okay. At that point, <laughs> you yelled Hammerman and threw yourself to one side. Yep. You run out the door. Pull yourself out of the doorway. 
Okay, uh, I want to quickly check. Both of you guys are going to make dex checks. Dodge. Okay, okay so you know, take your dex and your dodge and roll. Uh, 13. 17. Okay, you do throw yourself acrobatically out of the room, and you don't trip over her going into the room to get her sister. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, so you're like, whoa, shh. Right past her. Nice. Uh, you dive into the room to get your sister. Mm. Uh, you do get your sister, but she's as useless as a bump in a log, and just as the flashbang goes off in the middle of your apartment. Okay. Um, you are basically at point blank on a flashbang. Okay. Cool. So. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Sorry, eyeballs. Uh, you are not seeing anything for the next seven rounds okay okay you're oh, blind God. your sister screams a high piercing scream and you are both well you barely hear it because you're deaf and blind deaf. yeah oh, no. Can so I... you're now in the middle of this blinding <clears throat> noise all right can i feel around like uh you, you land on top of your sister okay okay um okay. so you guys in the cool. middle you guys saw a blinding flash but Probably did not see into the room because you would have been going one way. Yeah, he would have been throwing himself out. Okay, flashbang went off. Okay, mm -hmm. so top of the round, Daily City. You, what are you doing? Um, head in, see the sitch, uh, go to grab both of them, and start pulling them out. Okay, she's currently possibly in the way. Are you getting out of the way? Um, I'm behind the behind the hall. Okay, so you're yeah. on one side of the hall. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, fine. He dives into the room. Un Messed by the flashbang. You smell the acrid smoke. Gross. And uh, there's sort of a charcoal burn in the middle of the floor where it went off. And uh, you see her basically on top of her sister who's screaming hysterically. Okay, yeah. Um, grab them, um, yeah, both by the scruff of the neck if I possibly can just start hauling towards the door. The scruff okay, of my then. neck? Or like the collar. What am I, have. a cat? Yes. <laughs> Look, I can save both of you or I can okay. save one of you. Okay, okay. fair enough. Uh, you hear behind you uh, Hammerman thundering down. He's carrying what looks like some kind of long rifle, and he says, stops, looks around, and says, and so it begins. <gasps> what? Damn, you said we had two days. <laughs> That's what I thought. <sighs> okay. So he comes in. You're dragging them out of the room. Mm. You've got your sister, still can't hear anything. Mm -hmm. And that was round. We're going to start counting back down. That was round... We're on round six now. Okay. Okay. Oops. There should be a six on this dice. Oh, there it is. Okay. So, you're outside. Mm -hmm. You see... The headlines now. Big corporation tries to destroy the little man and hero cop. I'm ready. <laughs> well, I have to right close, though. <laughs> okay. Um, make an awareness check. Seventeen. Oh, you do see the guys in black. Oh, I see them again? Ah, coming down the no, hall? you see other guys in black. Uh, Great. Okay. Uh, coming down the hall? Uh, no, they're at the end of the hall doing something. Oh, uh, I, I just poke my head in. We have to get out of here now. The guys are back, and I don't think they want to give us more money. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> okay. He's just dragged them out, dragged them out. Hammerman turns around and even he decides to go ape shit. Odd he doesn't. It's Hammerman. It's odd he doesn't. I'm shocked. <laughs> anyway, Mr. What Hammerman. What a lucky break. Hammerman does not house. open up. At that moment, he turns around and he says something like, God damn, ninjas. <laughs> I hate ninjas. I hate ninjas. Okay. And uh, he basically is drawing a bead. And as he pushes a button on the side of his very, very large gun, you see a plethora of red dots explode out of the front of the gun and start targeting things. That's handy. What is I'm going to go behind him. I'm going to go behind him. You get behind him. Okay, okay then. So, top of the hill, you. What Have are we you made doing? It into the hall? You're in the hall. All of you are in the hall. You're blind. And we're still in round six. We'll any be going around five in a minute. Any of the med tech gear that I have, uh, can that reduce her blindness? Uh, no. Not in this case. Okay. Uh, and I can see the dudes at the end of the hall as well? Um, yeah, because Hammer has lit them all up. Great. Um, then in that case, I will draw on fire. Okay. Draw on fire. All right. 
Um, yeah, All right I'll then. Fire up, uh, Let's put shot. this one to one side. Ninjas. What you're using for that is you're shooting, so you're using reflex. So that's the ten, which is nice. I roll a second one. You roll a second roll and add that that's first. Three, well, whatever. I'll take it. That's thirteen, seventeen, uh, twenty-one. Twenty-one. Okay. Yes, you hit with prejudice. What are you firing anyway? Uh, pistol. Okay, but what are you firing? Does it say what your pistol is? Uh, no, it just says pistol. Pistol. Yeah. Um, okay. Right. Pistol. We're gonna count that as. Budget arms. Okay, throw roll three d six. I'm real cheap. Roll three d six. Let's see what you do. Nice. Ooh, ooh, ooh! I'll take that. That's a sixteen. Okay. Yes, you go tearing through. Uh, let's find out where you hurt him. He yes. says. Oh yes. Okay. So one of his legs goes out from underneath him. Blam! Nice. And he says something. And uh, the other guy is going to be firing, but he's not going in your part of the round. He's going to go you, after you, okay? So that's where he falls in. Okay, okay, so you just fired. You fired once. Yep. Okay, blam. Shimada, we're on to you, I believe. You're still blind yes. at five. So you want to do anything besides like slap your sister and tell her to quit complaining or something? Uh, <laughs> I want to try and feel around to see if there's like cover that we can get behind. You're in a hallway. There's okay. not much to work with. Okay. Um, I'm gonna get. There's her. I'm gonna. I'm behind Mr. Hammerman. Yeah. <laughs> He's my cover. Okay. We're, I'm just gonna kind of like keep her low. Like we'll both just be on the ground. I'm gonna keep her low, like pressed against the wall, okay. so that we're out of the way. Okay. So you're just huddling against the wall. There. Yeah. Uh, Okay, then the ninja's turn, so to speak. The ninja's turn as we get to the top of the round, Daily City. Okay, blam. Good luck. And <laughs> Hammerman. Ooh. He, uh, he opens up on Hammerman with what sounds like a very, very large caliber but silenced pistol. Uh, Hammerman, who is an old man in his bathrobe, would be messed up, but essentially he is not because the ninja missed. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay. So, Why would he just come downstairs in the bathroom? <laughs> he was just he that happy to drink with you. I'm, that, that is the kind of man who just has Kevlar on always. <laughs> and I'm an old guy. I used to wear Kevlar all the time. <laughs> okay, so the other guy basically turns, and he's going to be throwing something at you guys in the next round, but it's not his turn to go right yet. It's your turn. Okay. And I'm going to... Not the time to do that. <laughs> Why do you need reinforcements? This will not help. I look around, Hammerman, and I guess I'm going to try and shoot the guys who are shooting at us because I am assuming their intention is to kill us. Uh, not, not too great. Um, okay. Hold on. And plus, uh, 11. Okay, 11. I don't think you'll get near to him. He laughs at you. He scoffs. No, he doesn't do either. I'm used to shooting a camera, not a gun, guys. Okay. Blam! You shoot, and you do not score. Uh. Okay. So, top of the round, Daily City. Uh, actually, it's Hammerman's turn. He's going to finally use that thing he just brought out. Great. Okay. Okay. So, uh, basically, he opens up. There is a blinding Flash uh, as all the lights come together, and you see part of the wall burst into flames. No, and is now flickering oh, with great. fire. Okay. And one of the guys, uh, yeah, it was my deductible. Okay, not it's cover that. He's now on fire. <laughs> okay, well, I'll take that at least. <laughs> but so's the uh, wallpaper on the far side yeah. of the wall. I've been meaning to well. replace that. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> He's like, ah! Beating himself <laughs> off, okay, or beating the fire. Rather. There you go. That's time time. I thought it wasn't time for that. <laughs> well, she brought it up. Oh! My apologies. Oh my God. It's what the people want to see, do they? Oh. Uh. <laughs> okay, so what are we doing? Top of the hill. Hammerman's gone. The ninjas have gone. Stupid uh, ninjas. Stupid ninjas. Um, yeah, in, in a very angry state after seeing more repairs that will need to get made, um, I'll go ahead and fire off both of my... Blam, blam, okay, right, cool. so make your shot. Uh, uh, so one, nine, eight, 
Okay. Oh, are you barring on one target or are you splitting? Uh, one target. Okay, one target. Um, you want the guy on fire or the guy who's not on fire? No, the guy on fire. Okay, he's, he's the guy really on wall. The guy on fire who's actually been hit before, he Great. doesn't like you. Okay, so what'd you roll? Um, so that's going to be one of them is a 13, okay. and the other is an 11. Okay, uh, you miss on both of those. Blam, blam. Okay, nice shot, but not gravy there. Okay, so we're back to you. Yes. Too mad about that wall. What turn are we on? How many more turns are we on? Oh, okay, I... we're on to four right okay. now. Okay, okay, cool. So you're still blind, but you can hear gunfire overhead, and you just heard this foof noise as though somebody basically concentrated a lot of heat energy. Basically, what you smell it, mm -hmm. and you think you use some kind of microwave. Okay. So oh, no. Basically, the equivalent of opening a microwave oven at somebody, <laughs> a very powerful one. Yikes. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, Actually, a friend of mine many, many years ago had a microwave dish like that, and we sat there in his backyard and we cooked the chicken with it. <laughs> it was amazing. Wow. That sounds was it fun. Did it come out okay? Yeah, yeah. It was okay. It exploded at the end, but it was. <laughs> really I mean, that cool. that sounds amazing. Yeah. It's just like big ass dish. That's great. Yeah. Mark, are you sure this isn't illegal? Uh, nah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, maybe. I'm not not sure. <laughs> oh, I didn't where see where anything. did you get microwave guns? <laughs> yeah. That's what you think. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, let's yes. see. So I'm basically just like blinking my eyes. You're still eyes blinking your eyes, and, and by now uh, you can kind of hear your sister going, Oh my god, oh my god, I, I'm blind, I'm deaf, I'm okay. blind, I'm deaf. I'm, I'm just dead. like trying to quiet her. I'm just like, It's okay, just calm down, <laughs> breathe. Kirsten, help me. Breathe. <laughs> 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 Okay, so it's your turn now. I'm assuming as a media, I have cameras installed into my eyes. Yes, and you're lucky he didn't actually try to pull them out. Yes, I am super lucky. That's actually why I have my handheld cameras, so they don't think I have cameras Diversion. in my eyes. Very, Very clever. Clever. Decoy cameras. Yeah. Decoys oh, all. Exactly. So I'm going to make sure that's rolling. I'm going to get this poor teenage girl being helped by her sister, blind and deaf on the, on the floor, and look at the bad guys and be like, these are our enemies. Look what the corporations are doing, and I'm going to try and shoot them. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've often thought some interviews would probably be better that way. Um, okay. Are you going for Mr. I'm on fire, or are you going I'm for... I'm definitely going to shoot the guy on fire. Okay. Guy on fire has, like, got a life of crisis. Um, okay. I so rolled a... Where he so is. Okay. I rolled a 13. Okay, then. Hang on a second. Mm -hmm. We have a... 17. Okay. Can I get a bonus because it's on fire and very easy to see? Fire. I'll give you a point two, plus two. Okay. Nice. 15. 15. Okay. So the, you always roll 15? I rolled a 13. I added the okay, two. Okay. You have 15. You still don't have quite have enough to do it. You fire near him. Let's see if he flinches. They're pretty. Ah, he does flinch because he's on fire and he's beating it out. So he's kind of like, ah, fire, ah, shots. What's it coming to? The other guy, however, is not going to flinch. Instead, he's going to be aiming at you. Oh, no. Which is like the biggest problem right now. Me? Uh, I'm not. I haven't, I haven't even hit anyone. Hammerman is right now behind his big gun. Let's see. Okay, beat a 15. I'm with. Uh, okay, Bonnie? so you're, yeah, you're getting out of the way, dodging. Okay. Oh. Wait, no, that's 10. That's yeah. a 10. That's 10. Again. All right. Uh, 25. You dodge out of the way. You almost pirouette <laughs> with your wrist. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Shot goes it's right beautiful. Right. <laughs> well, he stops for a moment. I flip my hair. He, he writes a poem. <laughs> that's the most bayonetta thing you could possibly do. Swiftly she moves. Her <laughs> hair flips. <laughs> Oh, okay then. So you dodge out of the way. That's what he did for his first <laughs> shot, his second shot. Uh, he fumbles, uh -oh. and he jams. Okay, so he likes, blam, this is you, goes, black, click, click, click. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's him, and we're down to Hammerman. Hammerman just microwaved the first guy. <laughs> Let's see if he does anything. <laughs> no, he actually... Oh, wow, Hammerman, that's not good. Mm -hmm. Hammerman's gun is about to have a critical fail. Let's oh, just no. find out how bad it is. Please don't explode. Yeah, that's the problem, Mike. Please be a oh. one, please be a one, uh, please be a one. <laughs> okay, whoops. 
Oh wait, I just rolled the wrong die. That was supposed to be yours on four. So let me let me re-roll that again, which you're gonna be really happy that I did that. Well we <laughs> Yes, well it was going to be bad. So let's try and find out how bad it is. Bad. Oh, it's not really good. No. Okay. It's better than it was when it was a nine. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, Hammerman fires again. All the lights coalesce for the microwave, and it goes up. There's a brief flash of flame at the far end of the hallway that backblasts against uh, where you guys are. Yikes. Oh, no. Okay. So, in order of who is where... You are behind Mr. Hammerman. No, Hammerman is standing in front. I feel you're, like I'm like sort of you're, back and right to the left of him. Right, basically. so you're basically in the same area yeah. he is, so you're going to get caught with it. Right. He's going to block you partially. You're on the floor, so it doesn't matter with you. At the very worst, you might get some hair sizzle. Let's go okay. find Sorry, out. Sorry, your healer's about to get toasted. No. Oh, actually, the healer. I need to find out something here. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, what's your dex? Mine? Yeah. Uh, four. Okay. Roll a dodge. Beat a 12. I think oh. you can do that. Oh. I don't know about that. I don't oh. think I can. No, nope, that's 10. Oh. Do, we, do we have luck? Uh, not in not these. Not in these. But okay. Okay. I'm going to give you guys, I'm going to give you guys three points of luck. You oh, great. Well, I'm going to have yeah. two right now. Okay, make a note. You have three points of luck. Don't blow it all in one place. <laughs> one left. Okay. So, you are... Basically, whap, your hair crisps up a little bit. Huh. And a beautiful like, hair. Like that. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Meanwhile, Hammerman, that ninja, I think we're back to you, top of the hill. Well, is Hammerman fine? Uh, actually, I did not. Oh, he's not fine. Oh, no. All right. Well, let me ask, because. My oh, heat shield. Okay. Yeah, uh, his bathroom was on fire, and he's now beating himself out. He's dropped the gun. Okay, great. Uh, uh, he, he was like just taking, you know, some some not horrible burns, I'll, but some burns. I'm gonna go ahead and try and assist him putting that out. He's the last okay. Thing he's cursing about the, you know, the cheap jack idiot he bought it from, and then and, yep, and, yep, yep, and he told me this is good for five uses. Yeah. And, 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 and. yeah. Um, you know, I'm just gonna start taking like just whacking at the clock. Okay. I don't think I have anything in my med kit that would let me just extinguish flames, right? Don't throw any alcohol on it. I'm definitely not going to do that. <laughs> now, the best deal for you right now is to roll him around on the floor. Okay, great. And what's yeah. left of your carpet. Yeah, I just kind of throw him on the ground. And just no, my it. cover. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Wait, he was protecting me. <laughs> it was not my like person was you. protecting me. <laughs> ah! Okay. Um, and then... Your sister, by the way, is trying to crawl from underneath your grass. Of course she is. And she's trying to get further down the hall. Um... We're going to try a dex check on this, okay? Mm -hmm. You're both blind, so I'm going to call it dead even. Mm -hmm. What you are trying to do is use hand-to-hand, -hand, mm -hmm. okay, with your dex. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have her to try to get away from you. So. Okay. Goldfish. So that is seven, six, nine, 16. Okay. 14. So she, she basically starts crawling away going, I've got to get away! I'm going to die here. I can't die here. And she starts crawling away. Mm -hmm. And you thump on top of her. That's what you're doing that round. Yep. And you have two <laughs> rounds until you're no longer blind. Okay. Okay. If you want, you can just start randomly shooting. Maybe you hit your sister. Can <laughs> you, you can see shapes, maybe? That was, that was, I felt like you were very excited to suggest that. <laughs> um, it's the kind of guy. I <laughs> can I see, like, Outlines? Can I see like anything, or is it all just completely? It's still a blur for the next round. You'll get okay. back. Shapes. Okay. Okay. You can now hear your sister sure. screaming. Sure. Okay. I'm just sitting there, like, what the hell are you guys doing? What's going this on? This is why I love life paths. Yeah. You know, just, <laughs> We're fighting I the power. I never thought to saddle you with a sister who is totally useless. <laughs> <laughs> but you just handed that to me. I did. I did on a platter. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. I was like, what the hell are you guys doing? Like, I could just hear like all these all this stuff going down. Okay. Meanwhile, let's see. You're struggling with your sister. It's mm -hmm. your turn. Yes, it is. Uh, I look at the microwave and think for a second and then say, I don't want to end up like Mr. Hamilton, or Hammerton. 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 No, it's Hamilton now. He's oh, no. <laughs> um, can I tell by looking at the God of Fire if he's even a threat anymore? 
Uh, he's beat himself out, and he has basically run back down the stairwell. Okay, I'm going to try and shoot the other guy instead. Okay, the other guy. Good. The one who's All not right. running away. The one who's not running away. Um, ten. Oh. Nine to hit. Ten? Mm. Oh, okay, yep, you missed him by one. Aww. So, you basically, you aim, you fire, he hears the shot. <sighs> He goes right by like. Oh, wait, no, I did get a 10. You got a 10? My math is bad, yeah. I got a 10. Total Great 10. job. A total 10. <laughs> People who play okay. video games for a living. Okay. <laughs> okay, did I. S wait, wait. Okay, he had a 9? What was 10? I don't remember. Now. I'm going to roll over everything. games. I don't know. You got a 10, and he got a 1. Which means he fumbled. Okay, you hit him. Okay, let's see what you did to him. Okay, what are you firing? Where am I firing? What are you firing? One, oh, a pistol. Okay, pistol. Heavy pistol. Okay, so roll 4d6. Let's go find Damn. out where it happens. Okay, you just hit him in the head. Oh, no. So roll your 4d6. 10. 4d6. Got it? Yep, I rolled okay. I rolled two Total? twos. Okay. So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I rolled bad. It's okay. <laughs> No, yeah. It's all good. yeah, I rolled okay. four d sixes oh, okay. for a Got total it. of ten. Okay, yeah. great. So it's just twenty, which means his head just went boom. Okay, oh, no. flick so him off. Falls over my camera. <laughs> okay, bam. <laughs> okay, he falls over dead. Uh, I make sure to record that headshot. Oh yeah. Like, headshot. Ding. You see yeah. numbers fly off. It's a shame that you can't turn your eyes around and be like. Maybe I have one in my Okay. Hand. Do you just have cameras everywhere? Are you like that everywhere. guy in Pan's Labyrinth? <laughs> uh, yes. Actually, that's how I would like to be. Okay. Except okay. prettier. Cool. <laughs> just big old camera eyes and big old camera hands. Hammerman staggers to his feet, having beaten out his bathrobe. He's wearing normal street clothes underneath it. And uh, he says, <laughs> okay, I wasn't holding the whiskey when I was doing this. And he says... So you move the timetable up on us. Uh, yeah, we could tell. Thanks. So I do Damn. know. I don't know what the hell would have set him off like this. I mean, they expected somebody to cause trouble. Meanwhile, I'm in the corner. I'm like, will somebody please explain okay. to me what is you happening now have right your now? Eyesight back. Okay, cool. Your sister has given up struggling. She's now sort of sitting there, uh, rocking in a semi-fetal position, going, "Okay, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going okay. to die." Okay, I'm like, goldfish, it's fine. You're not going to die right now. Um, yeah, I just I, like, I look at both of you and I was like, what is happening right now? We are F U double K E D. Yeah, I guess that's how I would put it. <laughs> We're fracked. Right. There it is. We are fracked. We and are fracked. did you care to elaborate on why I was just attacked by a flashbang? Well, so, like I was telling you, and when you were in the doorway before you got all blinded and deafened. Uh, yeah, because I caused that. Apparently, we have a very desirable spot to put a big ass data node, and instead of just going ahead and offering to buy this hundred feet tall from me, which I would happily sell for the right price, they hey. just decided to bulldoze it. We live here. We can't do that. Well, maybe we won't anymore renters because it's, everything rights, is on sir, fire. That's not sir, a thing. Sir, renters' rights, Mr. Check. That, wait, that's a two wait a minute. Hammer says, "You didn't say it to them, did you?" Say what? About the whole renters' rights thing. Oh, absolutely not. Thank God for that. God, if you'd confronted them in any way, they'd probably move up the timetable. I gladly gave them my camera. You, what? You filmed them? They're attractive men in business suits taking pictures of our building. Wait, what? Oh, I hate that. Ah. Ah. I gave them the camera. Do I have like, a, like a transport or like a car or, or a bike or anything? Yes, as a matter of fact. Okay. I'm just like, I don't even care about you guys. <laughs> I was like, I need to get my sister somewhere safe. If we can't live here anymore, then I'm leaving. No, she's the innocent that needs to star in this film against the man. You put your camera what? in my face again, and I will blast it away. Do you see any <laughs> camera in my hand? I do. I know you're a media, and you guys get those ocular implants every single time. I don't know what you're talking about, single time. Right stop it. Right stop right it. Every single time. All of you, please, stop it. Don't fight anymore. Ghost, go pack up your things. We're leaving. <sighs> he staggers out. Okay. Okay, so you guys are face to face. You have a dead ninja. You have a flaming ninja who's left. Okay. Um, They're just going to keep coming. There's a flashbang. So. And Mr. Hammerman's saying, great. So were you broadcasting? Not at that moment. My broadcasts were uh, very tangled up by a uh, dog barking at that time. So I'm not really sure. We can check, though. 
Yeah, we better check. By if this the gets way, out, they've got no other case. I mean, they're going to have to do something if, if this makes public opinion. So they would leave us alone if that was broadcast. <laughs> you laugh's a bitter laugh. Yeah, no, that's not. No, that's well, not. We says, do. No, if I was a corporation, I'd be trying to cover this up as fast as possible. Well, we do have a nice young girl who is friends with the Gilligans who might want to protect the place that she lives. Right, Gold? Wouldn't, wouldn't that guy, the Gilligan? You don't hear her. Wait, I literally, I literally have a knife on me. I take it out and I press you against the wall with it against your throat. And I, I was love like, the party comes together. I was like, they try to kill each other. <laughs> <laughs> if you try to use my sister as a prop one more time, I will cut your camera eyes out. Absolutely not. I'm just don't even talk right now. Don't even talk right now. I'm don't, over. I don't I'm know you. Done, done with this. I'm so done. I'm so done. <laughs> You guys, we've got two choices, okay? You can either completely bail and run, or we can stay here and we can try and defend the place. Now, I don't really want to lose my old building if I'm not going to get a profit out of it. So, I'm just I saying, know where I stand. I looked at the prices for the rentals in this area, and this is the most affordable one, and none of us could afford to live anywhere, and we would all be homeless if this building gets Yeah, I'm not really looking to eat us. kibble again. I'm a nomad. I can move around. It's fine. I've got to go. Some of us aren't down to eat dog food. Ma'am. Yeah, I've got a radio. Uh, can I check on where that police call that I made an hour ago is? Ah, <laughs> oh, it hasn't gotten anybody. Of course not. I'm gonna, go, well, you know. I'm gonna go check if that uh, broadcast actually did go up while I was doing it. Okay, cool. Um, I'm gonna see if I can get a hold of any of my old trauma team buddies. Uh, see if I can... Another oh, one? No. Scream. Oh, gold. <sighs> it's gold. It's your sister. <laughs> Go get her! This is what happens when you don't pay attention to her. <laughs> it's an I don't mission. need either one of you to parent the echoing bad parenting insecurities that hide in my head. I feel so bad all about the time. myself! <laughs> oh, Australian ninjas! No, because you never the know. Kind. They really are the worst kind. <laughs> they are, they are indeed. Especially when they just say crikey. <laughs> Okay. okay. Uh, yes, your sister screams. What do you do? Oh, I'm running in after her, obviously. That's a good sound. You go running in, and something pops through in the middle of the room, and basically explodes in a halo of static electricity. You remember the flashbang? Yeah. Oh, no. This is worse. This is my equipment. Uh, do you have any cyberware? Do you, oh, she or do I? Yeah. Uh, I have cyber optics. Cyber for optics. No. Cyber optics for low light. Your, your big ducks pop. Yeah. <laughs> and your eyes go. Awesome. And go totally crazy. Awesome. Um, you were going to the room with her, or oh, no. were you outside? Okay, you're outside. outside. You're outside. Okay, yeah. you are. Once again, blind. <laughs> now you have static. Every time. I know. Okay. You're just and you not hear meant your to see. sister being dragged away. <laughs> ah! oh Out the window. Okay. They now have something to get you. You're not heroic. You're not invincible. What? You're not even invisible. You're your own weakness. Super fail. I guess we've super failed? Super fail. Oh. Your sister's gone. Oh. <laughs> oh, you blew it. Are they, is she dead or are they just holding her? Well, she's she out the broken window. Sure. You heard a scream. You yeah. see her, you see her little bag that was partially packed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. I take, I'm still holding the knife in my hand and I walk toward where I think they are. Okay. And I'm waving it, and I'm like, you are going to give them whatever they want. They can have Wait, this building. Are? And these these oh, yeah. guys, yeah. I was like, you're going to give them whatever they want. They are, I'm getting my sister back, and I don't care about this building. Or mm. we could rescue her. You're I mean, giving them whatever they want. <laughs> I'm not going to give up my building on this one. No, unless there's a hard. My party sister is outside. outside. That's fine. My Does sister is more yes. important than your building. But you're not going to keep paying rent is the problem. I will kill Cheddar. <laughs> I will kill your dog! <laughs> oh. Huh! Whoa! Exactly! And now the hate comes How out. How dare you! <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll 100% talk to them and, and go and get your sister back, though. So what's the state of my broadcast? Did any of that get up, or was it just a dog yes, barking? Yes, actually, <laughs> uh, your broadcast was getting out.
Okay, so now there are people out there, you're beginning to get uh, posts, you're getting people commenting, mm -hmm. uh, the feeds beginning to show like, that's terrible, that's, well, you shouldn't have been there in the first place. Of course. Yeah. Yes, the internet. Where's progress? Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Blame the victim. Right. Yeah. People suck. Right. People do, but <laughs> that's why it's a dark future, not a happy one. I so agree. I mean, I'm your neighbor, I brought a big gun. <laughs> now it's basically guaranteed that they're just going to level the joint. So... No, and people, they'll, they'll know who did it. Did, like, that's people the will that revolt. Was, will they, though? Will they? I'm going Hammer to goes, make another podcast. Uh, Here's the thing. Me. I hate people. I don't trust people, and I'm not going to wait on people. I need to get my sister back so I can get the hell out of here. All right, what's the status of the uh, relationship with WNS at the moment? Like, do where, where, I? Do we know what they'll be up to? You probably know something of WNS because you're on broadcasts. Mm -hmm. uh, it's probably not a great relationship because, mm -hmm. well, you're essentially equivalent of what a blogger would be like mm -hmm. to, oh, I don't know, Disney. Mm. Yeah. Do I know any any rocker boys or rocker girls who I have previously covered and might, might owe me a favor to uh, incite mm. their fans to help protect my building? Okay. Let me... Get a roll on you using your credibility. Do I add my intelligence cool? to that? Yeah, or yeah. cool? Okay. Cool. Cool. Five, Sixteen. Okay. Sixteen. Hmm. Yeah. You can probably find a few people who can ravel up a crowd. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, I film video. Uh, and add in some, so if me talking to camera with some clips of that poor girl being blinded and deafened, you don't know about this unless you watch my feeds, which I know you don't. I know, no. <laughs> I don't. So you're going, you're going down to start running your feed and, and basically go, go to studio? Um, yeah, you I just. do that on the fly. You're going to have to go for. Okay, yeah, I just go to my room right and uh, I just want that one clip of the girl and of me getting that awesome headshot and of me Good saying, job. this is what's happening. Our building is going to be taken under, and we need your help to help save our building and save the people who live here and yeah. make this a good place to be. So if they can blockade the building, we can go save your sister. Yes. That's well, I mean, that might Ghost be. is like the Fight most the reluctant she's ever been. <laughs> You're not buying this, are you? No, By no, way, your oh no. Back Yay! Now. No, I, I cannot stand her. I cannot stand types like her. I don't trust people because of people like her. You need me, though. I killed those men. I don't We're need. To her. I need me. myself, my gun, my knife, and my sister. Everyone says, "Excuse me a minute, ladies, while you're busy having a cat fight." If you're gonna I'm sit going here and patronize me. <laughs> Herman, that was not the time. <laughs> All right. He, he grumpy old guys downstairs. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, or actually upstairs, down the end of the hall, where he promptly starts loading up stuff. You hear clanging. Oh, no. You hear things going on in there. Uh, is the microwave gun still work? Smoking. Yeah, it's smoking. Yeah, it did a little good. He failed. So... He blew it out. Okay, but I can't repair it. Because I do have Cybertech repair as one of my mm, I'll give you Cybertech minus two. Okay, cool. I'll take that. All right, all right. Wait, you have well, CyberTech, but you couldn't figure out what a telecommunications tower Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that wall. It was really bad. It was really, really, really bad. You didn't put together the context. Uh, fair uh, enough, fair enough. 16. 16. Yes, you can fix the thing. Nice. You, you can't guarantee it may not do it again, but yes. Cool, great. Uh, I'm going to patch that, and then uh, I don't know if I can sling it over my back, or is it too heavy? Or uh, He's a tough old dude, but yeah, you can lever it about as well as he could. Cool. Great. I'll hang on to that then. Okay, so you have it. Nice. Okay. So meanwhile, you hear more clanking downstairs and, ah, where the hell is that? I put that down there. God, what are you looking for? Taze web. What? In case there's a riot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Rattle, waddle, clank, 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 clank. Okay, so. We can get the Gilligans to help us save your sister. I, we're not, we are not recruiting the Gilligans. We are not going to encourage that behavior. <laughs> Three hour tour. Yeah, Stop it. I hear that every night. No. Yes. I hear Don't. it too, sir. Not I live bad. here too. <laughs> <in the alleyway. sighs> 
She's in, like fitting it into her broadcast. Okay. Our, so do we have to get the broadcast Slowly. to air before folks can see it? I already, I already yeah, I she, sent it. She's doing it. She's okay. downstairs. Right, yeah, okay. She's mixing it, turn. putting it together, and she is sending it out now. Great. Yeah. And her, her troll has not so far attempted to shut her down. Great. Um, I'm send, also sending that particular video directly to my rocker girl and rocker boy friends to distribute mm -hmm. to their audience. So if my stuff gets shut down, they still have okay. the video. Right. Is because yeah. Um, so can we reasonably assume that a fairly sizable crowd of folks who would be putting up their own wills to defend our home will show up within a few minutes? I mean, why not Three have an excuse tour. to fight the power? <laughs> Three hour no, tour. No, 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 not again. Hour tour. Are these guys you yours? See Gilligan's, mm -hmm. and it's not the normal mob you normally see. Oh no! It's. Hundreds of Eolians. Oh, Wonderful. And they're beginning to mass around the building. All no, right. no, really, it's fine. Everything's can okay. We, can we tell if they're, they're here to protect the building or if they're just here on their own business? Well, this appears to be some place that they find important. Would you like to find out why? Yes. Yes. No. <laughs> um, I'm going to walk out with my camera equipment and my microphone and uh, try okay. to interview one. God. <laughs> okay. Are they, have they surrounded the building? Skipper, <laughs> Gilligan, the professor, Marianne, pick one. I'm going to say the professor. Why, oh, yes. Hello, sir. I see that you have professor. amassed. Hello, professor. I see that you have amassed around our building, and I would like to know why so I can tell your story. This is an important place, a place of science. As a result, we have gathered here to protect that science place. Hmm. It is where the sacred bamboo grows. Yeah. It is where our temple grows. Our temple to electronics. Oh. Our temple to communication. Our temple which will allow us to oh. finally find the mothership and go home. Yes, please. Please take your mothership Do I home. Do you have any like, bamboo gardens out of bag? Because I've been feeling like, like I've been feeling like I've when was the last time you went? Come, I'll show you. Okay. We are going to see the We don't have time. time. We have you never seen the I, I, I look, at, I look at him and I was like, where, where is Thurston? He says, which one? And there's like nine raise their hands. Where's the one that's dating my sister? Thurston Hall, the 33rd? Sure. Hey, Thurston! 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 And they're yelling. <laughs> By now, you've got about a thousand Gilligans. Okay. okay. God, no! But okay, I mean, if we're okay. here to protect the joint, I'll take it. All right. Your apartment building has goes up against and butts against two alleyways. Mm -hmm. And then there's another building a little higher than yours that probably will also be condemned. Right. Because it's a big, micro, big tower. Um, and there's an area that's kind of like part alley, part vacant lot. Okay. Which, if you remember, I described the dead cars and all yeah. that. Um, in the middle of it, as you go in there, you see, surrounded by the four dead cars, is a shape. It's a humanoid squatting shape that is dressed in tattered clothing, like a shirt and white duck pants. Oh, it's about <laughs> eight feet tall. It has tor tiki torches around it and a winding path. And this has all been hidden behind the cars for some time. Jesus. All right, so we're, we basically are neighbors to Gilligan's Cultist Island Freak Show. I mean... Well, yes. Have we managed to find Thurston yet? Has uh, yeah, Thurston the 33rd shown up? Thurston the yes. 33rd shows up and he says, Yes, where's my lovey? I'm like, okay. I like, you I can't, this tall, I can barely, this I can. Tall, thin young man who, who looks like, and he's, he's working on that aristocratic mean of mm. talking through his teeth. He has a cigarette holder. I want, I want to, I he want. He has a yachting jacket. I want to kill him. He, he looks kind <laughs> of like <laughs> if Franklin no. Delano Roosevelt had suddenly become a hipster. Oh, I, hate, I hate that. It's like, okay, I'm sorry to pull you away from brunch. My sister has been taken. I need your help in getting Good her back. God! When did this happen? Literally minutes ago. We must raise the alarm! I agree. Let's get her back. But please don't be stupid. Which way did the, mis the miscreants go? I pull out the card that was given to me earlier and mm -hmm. say, these are the people who did it. And show everyone that Great three circle symbol. 
It's Arasaka. Then. To the hounds, men. <laughs> well, no, wait, no, no. We need to protect the sacred islands and whatever, too, right? They'll protect guys... it. It's fine. Will they? I'm just going to follow Thurston the 33rd here. Is he, like, riding off on anything? Is uh, he... Yes, Thurston actually turns, and he hunkers down a minute, takes a deep breath, and his yachting jacket rips in half oh my gosh. as basically plating begins to come up. My sister's dating a transformer. <laughs> <laughs> to some extent, yes. She's, she's dating okay. a full-body boar. Oh, my gosh. Great. Okay, cool. Uh, I mean, it could be worse. I'm like, Remember she said he could protect her? Yeah. Yes, he can. Okay, well, I am feeling suddenly more he is, an basically he is, he is still a big, tall guy, <laughs> no. but he's now a big, tall guy that has now popped some plating, mm. and his fingers are now basically talons. Okay. And he turns once again with flashing eyes, and the cigarette holder is still mm. inexplicably in his mouth and says, Of course. Yes, chaps, now let us go to our Osaka. And give them what for? I'm, and I'm, he gathers a group of Thurston's and they march away. But I'm going with them. Okay. Yeah. We'll deal with your great fun moments at Arasaka Security okay. in a little bit. Okay. Well, okay. shouldn't we all go with them? Because this is, I, I definitely want to get this on camera. And these are the people trying to destroy your building. Yeah. So we should all go and just, you know, wreck them. Yeah, I think that that's probably not the... I mean, I don't think we can destroy the entire corporation, but like we can probably get them to at least leave our. The corporation and find covers spot. most of the nations of yeah, the planet, it's the and is the world. most powerful corporation, probably short of the paramilitary corporation known as Militech, and those guys have tanks. So, so no problem. Probably not. We got this. It's yeah. okay. It's it's good. It's no problem. I think we're destined to fail, but I will have glory. Let's do it. Okay, so we headed, as they say, <laughs> downtown to the Twin Towers. <laughs> I mean, yeah, if, if the Gilligans can protect the building while we're gone, that's fine by me. Especially if it means I can get some restitution out of, uh, of Arasaka and WNS. Okay. So, you're headed down? Yeah. Okay, so you have a... I'm not a I, look, I gotta about... use a new microwave gun one way or another. <laughs> yeah. You have about 500 Gilligans. <laughs> Um, they did real good. They've only left eight. torches and pitchforks and all that good Tiki, noise. Yeah. And a fair number of them actually are other forms of both full body. Oh, God. Uh, which, okay, for those of you uh, out in the audience who know what a full body Borg is, a full body Borg looks like a human, but has basically somewhere in plates underneath its body. So if you look very carefully, you might see seams and joints and so forth like that. Um, when they activate they basically pop that to give themselves more space to use the rather overpowered artificial muscle that basically activates their skeletal structures perfect so Great. in other words think terminator when he needs to be but mm. in a yachting in a yacht yeah so right now it's the terminator in captain's hat. is wearing a captain's hat a yachting costume that's somewhat ripped up right now right. and a cigarette holder which inexplicably is still in his mouth Perfect. and he's leading a charge against a major corporation this Personal is the darkest future <laughs> yes and they're now marching to go free his lovey yep so should we distract so we should use them as a distraction and then sneak in and get your sister i'm I mean, with we have them no where she is in there they're in in there somewhere. Okay. I'm gonna um, Google it. <laughs> I mean, you've got AV tech guys. About this you... point, about this point, uh, Hammerman comes down. Oh, okay. He is dressed in what would be considered to be metal gear or heavy armor. Oh, gear. <laughs> uh, he is carrying a couple rather large weapons, and he says, "I'm getting too old for this sort of thing, but they're not gonna take my home. God damn it." Okay, so you want to stay here and lead the Gilligans? No, we're going to kick open their doors and blow them to hell. All right, well, it sounds like Hammer's coming with us. It'll be a fun night for the old man. He doesn't get out much. <laughs> um, Are you being sarcastic to me, son? No, I legitimately mean that. I never see you go out, and I'm really concerned for your social well-being. <laughs> You have some kind of AV tech. I do. If we can get around the back while the Gilligans are all massing out. For what, an AV? Hmm? Why don't you say so? Oh, no, not that kind, but if you have access to one of those, that'd be great. Um, if we can find out what sort he of... Says, he says, yeah, follow me. 
he thumps his way down to the garage level. Oh, God. Okay. And he starts moving a bunch of tarps. What? And you see that he has a AV9, a police AV. What? This is stolen, right? You stole this. I retired. Yeah. Was it a retirement present? Is this what the watch is these days? <laughs> kind of. Okay. Um, does it work? Beep, beep. <laughs> Walks over. <laughs> You hear the fans start blowing dust and garbage and an occasional cat out of the way. Oh. No, Cheddar! <laughs> <laughs> just, I mean, I'm in shock and just like, remind me to raise your rent. <laughs> you can't. I've already paid your taxes. You owe that's me fair. money. That's fair. He did do that. Um, so if you can... You begin to realize that this old fart basically has been living in your place oh, yeah. since your parents left. Pays the taxes and essentially he's basically keeps, dead. He keeps you as a house pet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm my own man. <laughs> um, so if you can find their cameras, if you can if you can get into their camera system, you can figure out where she's being kept. I could. We should make finding like instead of having to go floor yeah. by floor by floor by floor of what I'm sure is a very tall building. Well, I doubt they took her all the way back to the main base. That's huge. So where would they take her? Well. We have to find out how they got out of here. She was screaming, so they couldn't have gone too far. Right, well, they went out the back window, it seems, so we we'll probably just find a trail out that way. Okay. Cool. So what do you guys do? Let's uh, follow the trail. Yeah, hop out the window, see what's out there. Okay, you climb down the window, you find boots, you find uh, marks of rope that are still left there, and you see two, two sets of footprints and some drag footprints. Um, you notice about... 500 feet further down, there, there is a discarded ampule of a soporific. Basically, a hypo. Mm. Ah. Knocked her out so that she didn't scream. But it's on foot. Mm -hmm. So they couldn't have gotten far. Yeah. Let's take the car. The AV? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, they'd be on their way back in a certain direction. Like, what's the nearest, like, I, I don't want to say outpost, but like, safe house, like, encampment? Do we have any idea? With that, we're going to have to talk to somebody who knows him better. But I think I know somebody who does. Maelstrom. Um, they do work for him. Oh, boy. Okay. All right. Can we... I don't suppose you can just call him on the radio here, can you? This is where we have to <laughs> talk to him. Those are the Gilligan's enemies. Yeah, I know. I really don't want to have another gang war inside our house. <laughs> I'm not with them, correct? I'm off with the... <laughs> The other news? You're, you're going off with the Gilligans okay, right, right now. Right, right, they're, right. they're in a mob going downtown <laughs> right now. Yeah. Screaming, free lovey, free <laughs> lovey. How is the rest of town <laughs> taking this? Uh, we question. haven't gotten down to the fact that the police are about to come out huh? and stop the oh, riot. Now they now. show up. And now you're going to find out what a taser whip does. <laughs> now they show up. Oh, Great. Man. Love that. I'm super glad his tax dollars uh, but are see, But see, they're, they're downtown, so that makes sense. Right. They're not going to come up to your place. You don't pay that much of my taxes. Well, you, mean, you don't pay that much of my taxes. They'll, they'll help hammer him out, sort of, but right. not right. necessarily. But that's just because he used to be on the force. Yeah, he used to be. Well, um, you haven't dug around, but yeah, he has a bit of a background. Yeah, he, he's, he's got one of them mysterious pasts that we probably don't want to know too much about. Could Hammerman tell the cops to stop? Stop the Gilligans? The riot To Gilligans? not stop the, the Gilligans. <laughs> Double negative. There you go. You know, I mean, he's a retired cop. He, he has friends in the force. He stole a Navy, but... They don't know that. <laughs> they don't. They, they, they the Navy is that. off the books. <laughs> There's somebody down there in requisitions who knows it's gone missing. Yeah. The Gilligans are fighting for a poor, innocent girl, and they should be allowed to do that as they please without cop... They're advance. going to the corporate center, which <laughs> is going, to be going downtown the financial district in yeah. San Francisco really with a girl. bunch of guys who all dressed up as cosplayers oh, to no. tear down the Bank of America. They are protesting for a good cause. Uh, you are a true believer. Okay. Ghost, <laughs> Ghost is walking with them, and at a certain point she's like, this is so stupid. And so she's... This is the dumbest thing I've I wanna, ever done. I want to leave. <laughs> I want to go back because I'm just looking around and I'm like, I'm surrounded by big robot cyborg men that are just 
We're about to go down and tear down. Yeah, the basically. Bar. So I'm just like, all right, okay. whatever. Well, I've set them off from their path. You see the far end that there are a bunch of cops massing because yeah. they're not going to let these guys go to the front. Right, right, so. right. So I'm just going to take off. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going like, to so push through them. They go charging, and you will skip the screaming, the explosions, the, okay. the, you know, all the other stuff <laughs> that can would be going vaguely down. vaguely hear that from them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, it's not good. I'm a... Sad to know that my idea has uh, caused the murder of hundreds of Gilligans. I don't care. I don't actually you, well, care. Well, no, you know. Did the Gilligans show up for you specifically, or just because, like... I have no idea. I don't think they did. Your fans are still on the way. I don't know. Who knows? How's the, that going? <laughs> uh, the Gilligans showed it because of the whole lovey situation. Yeah. Right. And uh, about that. Yeah. And you went looking for number 33. Yeah. Right. There's your your followers, mm -hmm. fans, whatever. Like, they are still... MIA. Yeah, they're still gathering. I mean, you know, you, you haven't offered a, a pop concert or anything else like that. That's fair. We haven't put on a cool show for them yet. Yeah, you know. And I mean, what am I... So they're getting they're getting angry, but they're not really... They're not out the house yet. angry. They're just yeah. mad. All right. Um, okay. So yeah, where, where do we see... And some people story? are starting to move, you know, if only to see what the fight's going to be like to your apartment Great. building. Great. Okay. Okay. Okay, right. so your shot. What are you doing? Um, yeah, I mean, if we're already out in the street following drag marks, do those treads? I assume they don't fall down over concrete, right? Hmm? No, okay. uh, they drag her out, and you see what looks like marks of a small vehicle. Okay, all right. Well, I guess we better pull the car around then. Okay. Um, there's a useful thing here. Uh, the route off the hill from where you're, where you are only goes down one direction, down towards, okay. uh, yeah, down towards the south. Uh, okay, you drop down off the hill, you go past essentially what would now be called Haywood, and you drop into another section town which is more suburban. Um, okay. As you are headed there, looking this over, Hammerman says, they could be using one of their safe houses. Yeah, I was wondering if they'd have anything like that nearby. It wouldn't take her back how, to the corporate. How far away am I from them at this point in time? Am I just like sprinting uh, back? You're sprinting back. Okay. And um, if they hit the air, they can radio calm you. Okay. They can call you. Okay. So do you want to tell her what's going on? Or yeah, do you I want feel her like to we're run all the way across right. town, then back again, okay. surrounded by Gilligan's? <laughs> right. <laughs> no, I feel like at this point, like you've got in touch with us, and so we're like, no, we're doing this, we're going here, we think she might be this direction. Okay. okay. Do you want to ride? Please. Yeah, I can swing over and pick you up. Okay. I mean, You're she welcome. is my sister. Okay. Don't even. <laughs> the AV lurches into the air. Uh, think of it as a large minivan, which is kind nice. of the best way somebody could wrap their brain around an AV. Okay. An AV is basically proof of concept that if you put a big enough jet engine on something, it will fly. <laughs> Perfect. Cool. What's well, wrong with that? I, I did the designs on it with a friend of mine when I was working in flight stuff, mm. flight sim. And we figured it ought to. And a couple of years ago, somebody actually built something like it that did fly. And we wow. went, yep, see, enough jet engine. You can in there. <laughs> it didn't fly really well. Sure. So you are now in basically a large box with a howling jet engine Gosh. making the floor shake underneath you. It's kind of elderly. You realize that this probably got taken off the official police rolls like 25 years ago. Oh God, they just replaced and, it with a newer model. Yeah, we replaced it with a okay. newer model. And, uh, you know, he has lovingly kept it. You see that it has things like fuzzy dice. Good, great. You know. Dancing hula and, lady. Yeah, basically you've kind of, in looking this over, There's an Iron it's, pretty, cassette. <laughs> it's pretty obvious this was probably a squatty that Hammerman used at some point. Okay. He liked it too much to let it. Sit yeah, there. and wow. they, they probably okay. did give it to him as a present. Like I said, yeah. nobody argues with the guy who was in charge of the um, Night City East slot. Yeah. While we're taking off, I'm going to send an email to all of my Rocker Boy and Rocker Girl friends mm -hmm. and tell them that if they put on a show at my apartment building to incite a riot with all of their followers, the next time they are doing a concert for a cause of their choice, I will cover them. I will give them the best coverage. <laughs> and I know that she my says, follower account is going you're to provided. Get of course. You're on. Okay. Concert is on the way. <laughs> Great. Love it. It's going to be a sweet show. They're gonna, they brought to bring the laser cannons, though. Not like this is like, this is like some Mad shows. Max sh Or it's just like death and music. Yeah. It's I love yes. it. Yeah. 
<laughs> wonderful. I mean, would you explain? Because the flame thrower guitar. Was wrong? No, I didn't. Okay. I'm just like I'm. I'm incredulous. <laughs> what we've created here. The okay. best kind of concert. So, let's recap. <laughs> yeah, recap. There's the army. Okay. So first of all, we have an army of hyped up semi cyber cosplayers from Gilligan's Island that are about to march into <sighs> a police cordon around the financial district of Nice City. Oh, we have you having fled that chaos <laughs> and headed up the street are being picked up by, by the equivalent, essentially, of a flying Dodge van with jet engines. <laughs> Which, by the way, happens to have a pintle mount for the minigun that he was using earlier. Perfect. Good. And Hopefully he doesn't is now all taken and in, installed in the window. Right. He brought the real round. He brought the real round. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is being backed up by a concert that is being impromptu put together by a maniacal blogger with a following across the city who has promised a rock and roll concert out front of your building. I'm going to Amazon Prime now some beer with that money that uh, those bad guys gave me earlier. As will buy a few kegs, yeah. Right. And then there'll be a riot when they run out. Mm -hmm. See, in the back, I like it probably just been easier to get new tenants. <laughs> 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 Okay, yeah. and so there you are, and um, you're in the air about 10 minutes having picked you up, mm. and you're doing a search pattern, sort of circling, and... Cops are useful. Basically, right. Hammerman says, hey, I think I've got something. What there, is it? take the controls. All right. Okay, uh -oh. so he leans over, starts talking rapidly into his comm, and says... Well, all right, so I've got some Maelstrom boys who said they saw a car that sort of fits the idea of what they probably had. Small compact. Sure. Okay, it's down the edge of the zone. Okay. Isn't that bad? Ready to go bad? combat that's zone? Bad. That's very bad. That's bad. That's very bad. I don't know if I want to go there. Nobody ever oh, wants no, to go to combat you're on, zone. You're in the boat now. You're in the boat. I'm in the boat. We're coming. All right, We're guys. We're going for a three-hour tour. <laughs> I uh, relay the recap. To my broadcast. Okay. <laughs> We're now going. Okay, let's hear. Let's hear your breathless. Your right. breathless. Uh... So earlier today, some evil corporations came to my apartment building, and are going to bulldoze it. But before they did so, they deafened and blind a poor teenage girl who is dating a member of the Gilligans, who are now on their way to destroy their building. Meanwhile, we are in this AV on our way to rescue the pearl, poor teenage girl. By the way, I got a wonderful headshot and saved everyone. Let's do this. Not clickbait. Okay. That entire <laughs> thing was null because he didn't start with, what's up, guys? Yeah. <laughs> what's up? Yeah. What's up, everyone? You forgot to end with like and subscribe, so yeah. no one's going to do anything. Yeah. yeah. Uh, by yeah, well, the way, head to my apartment building to be part of the riot and concert of the century to save this teenage girl and our apartment building that we live in. I could have just moved. Click if you like. <laughs> 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 I think you understand this. <laughs> okay, so you are dropping down towards the edge of the combat zone. Okay. Um, oh my, all right, I'm, I'm just like prepping all of the gear, strapping it, and making sure I'm not going to drop anything. By okay. the way, I accept donations to my coffee fund. <laughs> okay. Good. Um, you strap the gear down. You see uh, at the edge of a small house, um, because this is a, a, what's left of kind of a suburban neighborhood that's been burned out and wrecked. You see, incongruously, the equivalent of like a Nissan Leaf. <laughs> equivalent. It's, it's too clean, it's too new, and it's parked in a driveway. We have so many of those in San Francisco. Oh, yeah. Um, and most of them are not being run by evil ninjas. Yeah, yeah. it's just clearly, it's just like, that's, I mean, that's it, that's the one. Okay. Yeah, Ghost, Ghost just gets her, her assault rifle out and is like, okay. I'm, I'm going in, let's fix this. I'm just, well, okay. okay. She doesn't get her assault rifle out yet because to her, she's like, they can have literally the clothes off my back. I don't care. Just as long as I can get my sister back. I don't want to kill anybody. I just want to leave. The really handsome looking pop singer Japanese dude says, that calls off your back. Yeah. <laughs> if you want it, I have a light armor jacket. Yeah, we're just like on the front lawn at this point. <laughs> okay, like now you, how do you guys want to do this assault? That's the question. Is like, do you I really look. Do you I, want to I approach. So we're gonna we're gonna have a discussion before we. Yeah, I'm gonna, So we're circling. We're discussing. Uh, we're, we're going to kill you now. <laughs> oh, okay. So we're just gonna just drop our, our uh, multi-ton AV4 oh. in the middle of your. Uh, yeah, I your think house. I just want to like walk up, hands up, just be like, I don't want to fight. I just want my sister. Or back. we could just open fire on them. 
I don't want to fight. I just want yeah, my sister. Yeah, we have sister. a minigun. <laughs> so I feel like we, we drop you off around the block. Yeah. AV just kind of hovers in case goes. Sure, to yeah. Does that sound good? You want to try and negotiate first? Yeah. Okay. I do. I will not come <laughs> with you, but wow. good luck with okay. that. Oh, you won't come with me. I don't me. think I've ever seen that. I'll stay in the van. Finally, you well, do me I'm a favor. This is the first right oh, here. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Yeah, I, I get out and I just like walk up. I'm just like hands up. Tell I'm them like they can buy the building. Yeah, yeah, I'm like we will give you whatever you want. I just want my sister back. Okay, you walk up. It, was, it is literally the really good looking pop star like dude. Oh, that guy. By the way, he's a he's a reoccurring character in my uh, my personal game. <laughs> nice. I, I always wanted to have that. I wanted to have a J-pop group that was like <laughs> evil ninjas. Just <laughs> that. Do that. Yeah. Uh, I, I, are I, other are the other members of the band other significant yeah, I, 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 I think of it's like, you know, evil DBSK, you know? Yeah. And their weapons are like transforming guitars, guitars. and stuff. Yeah, yeah I, I like I like that. Doom if okay. Just like okay. Fun band. I'm into that. Yeah, you know, Again, with got the Mad kind Max. of the cool haircuts yeah. and a whole bit like that. Perfect. You know, and everybody thinks, oh, they're on tour when really they're casing the city. <laughs> <laughs> Any rate, you walk up and you see Mr. Handsome. Mm -hmm. And he sits there and he says, looks up and he says, you come for your sister, haven't you? I have. You can have literally whatever you want. I will give you my blogger friend. You can have her. <laughs> he says, <laughs> look up in the van, I'm just like, she is attractive, but no. <laughs> Besides which, she's compromised and we're going to have to kill her anyway soon enough. That is fine by me. I will help you. I'm like yelling at you the entire time. No, 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 no. I'm losing two tenants out of this. I am appalled. Okay. And I'm loving this because you can't do anything. Okay. By the way, fans are your fans. Your fans are now gathered around the building. Hell no, we won't go. Etc. Etc. Good. Yeah. So you now have about. Let me throw four big dice and see where we are. Oh, wow, you have about 3,000 people That's gathered around your building. They're blocking traffic. The Gilligans, meanwhile, are having a pitched battle downtown, so the cops can't get up to deal with the traffic jam. And they're gathering around your building. You should be there actually narrating. I should. I should be there. You should, but no. no. You're sitting outside in an AV yeah. while she actually does all the dirty work. I'm broadcasting this. I'm oh, broadcasting right. it from afar. And they're all listening to her threaten me. Okay. <laughs> so you know. So, you know, there, someone's selling tickets. Ghost doesn't yeah. care. <laughs> okay. He says, very well. And he leans in, whistles, and two guys who also thought they should be part of a pop group, mm -hmm. walk out with your sister. Okay. This little woozy, and mm -hmm. she runs your arms mm -hmm. and says, I didn't think I'd ever escape. Uh, you came for me. Of course I came for you. Like, let's go, let's get out of here. Okay. And as you're walking down with your sister, you, you don't hear any guns. Mm -hmm. You don't hear anybody saying, kill them now. Mm -hmm. He simply says, you do realize, of course, that your sister was a distraction. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> Wait, what? I would not personally go back to your building. Okay. <laughs> Am I going to inadvertently kill 3,000 of my fans? Potentially. I, look, I, I don't give the, a damn about the Gilligans. I don't give a damn. The detonation will probably take out most of the block. I immediately started practicing. like, if anyone heard that, leave. Right now, or find the bomb and I am disable it. At that it. moment, you realize. Oh. <laughs> yes, your troll has struck your feet again. Oh <laughs> no! I hate dogs. <laughs> I don't care if any of your followers die. You want to come back and get your stuff cool? Great. I don't really care about the. I don't even it. care about I'm my going stuff. Back to save Cheddar. I have my sister. That's all I care about. I'm going about. back for my cat. I'm going back for my cat. <laughs> this is what I mean by cyberpunk is personal. Yeah. It really oh yeah. Is. Oh I yeah. Want to save that my cat. sister, my cat, three thousand people. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Fine. Whatever. They're not people. They're fans. <laughs> oh. Wow. No, you're right. Really harsh. Yeah, I'm not buying me. any more of your albums. <laughs> Tell you me, don't care about Tell me, me I'm wrong. <laughs> uh, all right. Okay, so what you now know that, yes, he's very, very calm. He stubs at the cigarette and says, 
He looks back at you and he says, I will see you later. So yeah, I feel like <laughs> man, he walks into the, into the safe house. Um, I so like we land, you two get in as that's happening. Yes. Um, what are you doing? You know how 3,001 people I rolled in. Well, 3,001 people gathered around your building, singing, holding hands, saying, there's a pop concert going, we won't go, hell no, da 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 And send, there's a bomb in your basement, planted by the send, first group of ninjas. I'm going to send a direct, I'm, I don't know, I'm going to send a direct message to the person holding because the concert, the okay, fair. this information, and, and tell them to to halt the concert it's and make an announcement that any techies or fixers available need to find the bomb in the basement and disarm it. Okay, how are you doing that? Considering your <laughs> I'm, I'm, is sending now dead. E I'm sending an email. You got to, okay. I'm sending an email to the Super person who's just sending just like, a fax. I'm sending one tweet. <laughs> the re I'm sending, I'll, I'm, wait, wait. I'm sliding tweet, into that Rocket Boys DMs and telling them what's up, okay? <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. <laughs> Ah, because you know when this goes down, you're going to be responsible for the death of three thousand and one people. Probably, but maybe not. But maybe not. But maybe not. But maybe. Uh, but maybe. Is uh, goldfish okay? Like, By the way, we oh, saved the girl. Oh, goldfish is okay. Okay, they didn't like harm her or anything. Ah, uh, no. But as you're like, as you're lifting off, she says, "Your troll at this point." Can you like? That? I know it. I am not a techie. Man man was I know how to deal with my own equipment. Dot, dot, dot. Okay, I mean, I can give it a shot. Oh. He was kind of Please. Okay. I'm like, no, I goldfish, we're not, we're not going into this right now. <laughs> I, 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 I barely, uh, my tech is only three. Okay, all right. Yeah. Um, can I try and fix her feed? To like get, get in and like see if I can drop the troll signal? Probably not, considering her main feed is going to be back at the building that's going to explode. No, so. it's not. We're going to save the house and cheddar. Oh. Mostly cheddar. So did the rocker <laughs> save boy... Save cheddar! Or rocker caramel. <laughs> hashtag I, save cheddar. Hashtag save cheddar. <laughs> that's, that's, that's okay, everybody. Hashtag save, save cheddar. cheddar. <laughs> All right. Uh, you, you said you were saying something. Did the rocker boy get that email? Right, yes. Didn't they? Let's find out. Okay. <laughs> Oops, hang on. No. Crap. Uh, can this, how long is it going to take us to get back there? Uh, you have 10 minutes. Can we jury rig the engine to go faster without blowing us all to hell? Uh, you, you can floor it, you can get there in about 10 minutes. Okay. <laughs> all right. Um, you don't know when the bomb's gonna go off. Yeah, yeah, that's that. There it is. The problem. Dun, 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 dun. I know yeah. because I'm just. Well, I'm trying really hard not to look at your dice. Well, actually, I can't keep rolling a one forever. That would <laughs> be, be bad. That'd be great. I'd really enjoy uh, it. No, I'm gonna that'd roll, roll nice. two, and that'll give me actually a good time. Okay. All right. Um, okay, I know where it's gonna happen. It's not great, but yeah. Okay, yeah, what are you doing? Um, I mean, I want to book ass back to our apartment. But I'm not the one driving the AV. Hammerman is. Okay. Actually, no. Or you still? She no, you, is. You got out though. You got back in and just yeah. took over driving. I don't know. Yeah, he I... handed it back to okay. you. You took off. Okay. okay. I'm like. Uh, Hammerman is over by the chain gun. Yeah, I'm. I'm sitting there. I'm just like, look, I'll drop y'all off. <laughs> I don't I'm care. Down with your AV. <laughs> I don't care about the building. <laughs> I don't want to be near it. Well, I don't want my sister near it. I'm like, ugh, I'm not happy about this, but well, I'll... Just land quickly, let me get my cat, and we'll go. <laughs> That's fine. Save cheddar. Hashtag save cheddar. That's fine, but I'm going to park like Did you tweet like a, that? Like... No, I don't have followers. I'm literally an EMT. Who's yeah. also a part-time landlord. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sorry. Yeah, I ain't nobody going to listen to me. All right, yeah, we can... We, You're I'll, the famous one. I will drive back, but, like, very reluctantly, and, like, I want to park far away. <laughs> what? We'll never make it in time. Literally just land on the roof. You don't know. How, and then how far are you? Away. I mean, only 10 minutes. This bomb is going to blow up the block. How far away is it? It's going to blow up the block. You're only 10 oh, minutes away. But it's going to blow up in 10 minutes. No, I never said that. Hey, we, don't know, we don't know when it's going to blow up. Remember, everybody, I did not say that. <laughs> is there a possibility that a, build, a, a bomb isn't even in the building? Like. Oh, no, it's in there. Okay. I'm just saying, um, they like playing distractions and mind games, so yeah, who even no, no, knows? I don't, I don't think that that's incorrect, but I feel like they already did that now, and they're just going to explode our home. Um, I mean, yeah, let's see. Who... Aaron, you know anybody who got... Um, that's not a good sound, I don't think. 
No. Was that? That's your AV. <laughs> oh, okay. all right, cool. I thought it was somebody hitting it with an RPG. Uh, all right. Hammerman, what can, do you have any intel on like what kind of bombs they might be using if they're going to blow down the house? He says, it's going to have to be fairly small, but it will have to be sub new. Yeah, okay. there's three or four. All right. If you need somebody who's got some basic tech, I can work a little bit with it, but I didn't do bomb squad. Okay, I mean, I'm, I can, you know, do tech stuff okay, sort of. Um, you know, I assume bombs are a lot like organs. Cyber organs. Yeah, that's she what they stops. say. <laughs> <laughs> and he just looks at you with this look of I'm just kidding, belief. I know how to use computers. <laughs> and he Sorry. says, your father must be so disappointed. <laughs> oh, he's rolling in his grave. <laughs> uh, but I've made my peace with that years ago. <laughs> you um, and Cheddar, right? Yeah, it's just me and Cheddar. <laughs> Um, Pat your oh, shoulder. No, so, like, so like of the, of the three feel. or four types that it could be, like, how long do you think we'd have to get back? Okay. Uh, I will give you this. You can get back in the ten minutes and not find the bomb has blown up. Okay. Or is immediately about to blow up. I guess we'll find out. Uh, I rolled an amount, and I subtracted ten minutes from it. Okay. Okay. All right. You do you want to land Drop on the roof? Drop me off on the roof, please. Okay. I'm literally just going to run inside, grab the cat, run back upstairs. <laughs> That's fine. Anybody have anything else they want to try and get out the house? Uh, while I'm on the roof, I'm gonna use. Hammer says, "You know how long it takes to move an entire collection of Frank Sinatra CDs." Oh yeah, that's fair. He stomps down. Power, in his... more power to you than using CDs, though. Yeah, he stomps on down. He says, and I, "I'm not, I'm not even taking the vinyl. <laughs> it's an emergency." All right, um, I'll run, hit my apartment, cat in the vest, down to the basement to see if I can disarm the bomb. Okay, you get down the furnace. Yes, there's a bomb. Of course there is. Uh, it's about the size of a uh, one of those cooler hampers. Okay. Uh, is there any small, kind of... flat, black thing with handles on it. Great. Um, it looks like from when you reconstruct things, they distracted you by throwing in the flashbangs mm -hmm. and causing trouble. Mm -hmm. They were originally planning to kidnap somebody in the building gotcha. and get you guys busy. There were other people who were dealing with, if you went down to the furnace, which we if you went it. down that stairwell, you would have been fighting Mr. Dude on Fire and right. the other guy who I nicknamed Karate. Karate! And, well, actually, they've all got names. He just happened Dude to be number Dude on Fire 46. and Karate. Man on Fire. Man on Fire and Karate. Uh, Man on Fire, they were supposed to keep you from going downstairs. Oh, they did that job. Right and now. then somebody went in through the front door and carried a bomb in and put it down. Right. They figured, hey, what they... No one expected you... They, they figured they'd get you out of the building. No one expected that you would get 3,001 people. <laughs> yeah, they done, Who they is this show one up around person? Here. I want to know I everything 3, about that. I rolled 3,001. <laughs> His name is Jeff, and he is a very devout fan. That's that is the I one. I love this band. That's the one person that they can say we have over three thousand fans. <laughs> <laughs> I love how, this band. I would know. die for this band. <laughs> Guess what? Most most what? of these cyberpunks would die for a lot of things. Yeah, yeah. man. What is there any kind of like timer or literal ticking clock? Um, it has a flat black surface. Uh, it has a small screen on it, which appears to be counting down. And let's see, took me ten minutes to get there. You have five minutes for how did you do this? Great. Okay. All right. Um, Taking off the t three minutes it would have taken you to land. Go get your cat. Go right. down to the basement. Okay. So you've got your cat now going, like, <laughs> squirming. All right. And then you're sitting there in the furnace room. Okay, great. You're keeping the engine. And you know, and there, right? I like yes. to point out furnace rooms are always creepy because that's just the way they are. Yeah, yeah it's so like Home Alone. Oh, yeah. Dark. Oh. Yeah, home Alone, yeah. yeah, dark. <laughs> These enormous pipes going off somewhere, the you know. Is I have low light cyber optics. Hey, wait, yeah, so Chet, let me get this day, straight. So you see the bomb really well. Mother in law, Mill. Mill, you're saved Cheddar, but not your wife. No, she's not here. Oh. She, she's off in psychotherapy. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cyber, cyber psychotherapy. Okay. Um, okay. So I'd like to like use the limited technical know how between my cyber tech training, uh, my med tech training, my regular tech training to figure out whether or not you'd have a chance of disarming this thing. Okay, then. Hmm. Well, uh, I think you can give it a shot. Are you guys going to run for a high temper or what? I'm just sitting in this for, like, per, like in my head, I'm like, they have, like, five minutes. And then they, I am They do have five minutes. We literally yeah. have five minutes. You literally have five minutes. <laughs> I'm on the roof. I rolled. Yeah. I subtracted. You, you had 21 minutes. I rolled, took out your 10 minutes. Nice. You know, okay. had 11, and then three minutes if to I... get down and get his cat. Okay. His cat hid under the sofa for a while. <laughs> <laughs> um, I holler up on the radio. 
radio. Like, if you don't see me within chat. literally four minutes, take off. Okay. Okay. Let's give it a shot. All right. Um, what's it going to be? Okay. Uh, this is not actually a very, very complex bomb. Oh, You're only going to need a 15. Okay. Is that going to be uh, cyber tech repair then? Uh, I will let you have cyber tech repair minus one. Nice. All right. Come on. Let's do it. Oh. Nice. Yes, in. Critical. <laughs> Double crit. Oh, shit. Whoa. <laughs> Perfect. So I'm not even going to do anything else like that. Yeah, dude. Thank you. Oh, my so, God. Well done. Dun, dun, Click. <laughs> Bomb stops. Woo! Are I we? The radio, I'm like, you owe me so good. Are that. we sure that it's the only bomb? Boom! Yes, bomb two. Okay. <laughs> no, it is the only bomb. Okay. <laughs> All right. Using Perfect. my amp cyber right. audio, I'm going to relay this information to 3,000 people below us and tell them that Aerosocra Security tried to murder all of them, but Mill, the wonderful landlord of this building, right. saved you all. More importantly, congratulations. Well, We're I not dead. I can that says police officer Hammerman retired. <laughs> But also, I think we've earned ourselves Mr. a party. Hammerman. You've earned yourselves a party. Right? Get out the smash. Let's go. Let's do it. And then, Okay. That's definitely like a big party with all your fans, right? Yeah. And then it's a huge block party. Yeah. Cool. And it just spins. Okay. So, I think we have an adventure. <laughs> yeah. That was a wonderful adventure. Yeah. No, okay. that was excellent. It ended the giant block party. And we all giant had, block party. Had okay. Thank you very much, everyone. <laughs> this got some guy like rolling around in a lampshade hat. Yeah, it'll be good. Yeah, what do you guys all do? A bunch of a bunch of Thurston Howells all doing the kick dance. Oh, Honestly, no. this was like this game never has happy ending. This is about as close yeah. as I think I've those ever two, heard. Those two, those two crits. <laughs> Yay! I no thought, yeah, I literally thought coming in clutch with that. I, I figured we lose you that one. That I, I yeah. thought so too. I was fully expecting to fumble that. Yeah. I thought yeah. we were all gonna die. I thought I was gonna be responsible for the death of three thousand and one people. Ghost is Plus just like Jeff. Ghost is just so happy she does not have to say thank you to her. Big question. In any way. How do you all spend your party? Oh, I leave. Uh, I just, I tell, I tell Goldfish, I'm like, get your stuff, we're leaving. I'm going to wait, wait. Yeah, oh yeah, we're gone. Is there a chance we might see that nice ninja No, bite? he's dead. He's gone. No, he's, can you stop him from him now? He's oh, dead. No. He's dead. <laughs> All right. What happened to Thurston 33? I thought that right. sort of thing. Oh, well, that was when I was younger. Mm, okay, I mean, <laughs> if that's what it takes for you Thurston to leave him, I'm fine with that. Is there a chance we're going to see Hammerman rocking out upstairs? Like, no one else has seen him, but he's just like doing a little bump. Yeah, bonk. he's doing a little I am just, yeah. I am deeply yeah. into how this ended like a 90s action film. Where right? Like, just... I'm very <laughs> sweet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We okay. literally saved the rec set. Like, this yes. is Vanilla Ice singing us off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it makes this me so happy. As it no, 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 no. <laughs> it's literally the end of Lethal Weapon 1. <laughs> okay. I like it. I like it. Uh, yeah. Well, Perfect. great job, everybody. Yeah. Thank you, everybody. That was great. <laughs> Thank I, you so I much. I've heard the scenario many, many times. This is one of the more unusual, weird ones. <laughs> <laughs> um, usually, uh, at least... Several times the bomb has gone off before, oh, no. of but we didn't have the convenient yeah. sister. Yeah, I, I, like I, I, you convenient sister. I gave you like an, an alley oop on that one. <laughs> okay. That yeah. is that is actually one of the beautiful parts of Life Path. Life Path gives <laughs> totally. GMs something really cool to work with. Totally, yeah. I have so, to say, I'm like super impressed with how literally everything came together with that. Like, that was pretty incredible. That's, yeah. um, that's mm -hmm. kind of when you do it long enough. You can do yeah, that. I'm sure. Yeah. yeah, it was awesome. And also, I have done variations of the scenario, so I know the apartment building and everything sure. in it, like, you know, the back of my hand. Although, I did kind of enhance the Gilligans a bit because of your sister. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, Thanks, Goldfish. She's worth it. <laughs> Gold, I, I think in Goldfish, it may be a new character. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm so proud. Like, Escort sister. <laughs> this, this is this is right up there with one of my personal favorite a game I ran a couple of years back, where um, all the characters essentially ended up meeting the granddaughter of the head of Arasaka security. Oh wow! Man. Who was out for a night on the town with her long-suffering super solo bodyguard, <laughs> and she wanted to go out and have adventures. <laughs> And so she was in like one of the most dangerous bars in Night It's City. like my date with the president's daughter. And, yes, my date with the president's daughter. And in the middle of this, she runs across in this utterly deadly bar, uh, Adam Smasher, the absolute most oh. dangerous, crazed cyber cycle oh, in the no. universe, who falls in love with her. Oh, no. And so it becomes 
my d- wild and crazy date with Adam Smasher, with the rest of the party <laughs> having been told that since they let Adam meet her, oh. that they're responsible for making that sure that this all works out oh, all man. right. Oh, no. <laughs> and there they are. That's Again, incredible. Uh, they ended up eventually, they survived, only to find at the last part that it wasn't really her. It was essentially a cyborg body with a uh, control system, a remote control system, oh, and that man. she had been effectively paralyzed and was in bed. Oh, no. And unable to move for the last two or three years. Yikes. And so Adam had recognized this and fell in love with her anyway. So, yes, Aww. suddenly we had, we had the most dangerous cyber psycho on the planet wanting to get married to this lovely little girl. Oh, what a happy ending. That's yeah. so sweet. Yeah. <laughs> and then it went to hell. Oh, <laughs> it's cyberpunk. Uh, well, yeah, thank you, it thank does. You, uh, thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you, you so thank much. Thank you so much for having me. This was of course, great. absolutely. Good. This was fantastic. Yeah, this is super yeah, fun. Yeah, thank you so much. Hey, no problem. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. Anytime you want to come back, you're more than welcome. Take a picture uh, of If any of you want to try this for yourself, uh, the book is Cyberpunk 2020. It's super great. And Cyberpunk boy. Red is coming out. In the future, you can get it now. Ask your parents. <laughs> yeah, ask your parents permission. You will definitely need. And then, it. if they want to play. Yeah, mostly if they want to play. <laughs> the family that rolls together stays together. Damn straight. Our thanks again to Mike Pondsmith and the Artel Saurian Games team, and to you for checking this out. If you want to hear and see more content like this on IGN, let us know in the comments section or on Twitter at IGN.